So, uh, today we're checking out Out There, Oceans of Time. This is by Miklos, and uh, published by, Go uh, I guess, made by uh, Goblin Studios in there as well. Published by Modern Wolf, Fractale, Whisper Games. Uh, you know, anyone and everyone is throwing their uh, their hat in on this one. And they're all sponsoring this uh, video. So, thank you very much, Miklos and, and fellows, uh, as we check this thing out. I have played this in the past a couple of times. Last time I played it was about a year and a half, two years ago. Uh, they had a demo. And they have, uh, they have, updated. it's, it's been quite a few changes have gone through this thing. It's an interesting, interesting thing where we, uh, we take a crew and we, we basically explore the galaxy. We can, we can add in, um, new crewmen and, uh, and beam down to planets or land on planets, whatever. Uh, we can drill the planets and sort of fix our ships up and, and, and rinse and repeat. Uh, there is a story in here now. It was not there before. Um, and I suppose lots of other things we get to check out here, too. So, let's check it out, shall we? Recruit new members from the alien races you cross paths with. Build a team of capable uh, capable of traversing the cosmos. Manage a crew, ship, and its systems. The uh, the mission's success is down to your decisions as commander. Okay, well, I'm sure everything will be just fine, then. I'm, I, I like to think of myself as a rather capable commander. In fact, I just watched Star Trek VI just tonight. I just got in watching it, like... 30 minutes ago. So, capable commander, I got it. Um, that was Kirk, so you know, um, green, any green alien women, we know, we know how to handle that. Uh, Klingons, we know how to handle that as well. L <laughs> Folks in lizard suits, get ourselves a big rock. No, 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 that's not the way to do it. You get yourself a gun. All right. <sighs> Hello, Azel Norst. And hey, David, how's it going? So, um, this game actually has a great soundtrack, so I'm going to turn it up a little bit, actually, because it's, if it's too loud, yell at me, and I'll turn it back down. Um, but we'll leave it at, like that, and hopefully it sounds okay. If it's if it's not enough, let me know as well. Um, yeah, right, fashioning rudimentary cannons that, of, with things that we find. Right, right, right. All right, so, um, there is a, we can go into a new game, and it takes us through this sort of tutorial-y kind of thing, uh, and story bits, um... However, um, being your, your local YouTuber, I will sum up. So, let's go continue the game I started, which is just past that bit. And here's what's happened. Welcome to my ship. It's this little red guy. It's the best ship you've ever seen. I know. And we have a solar system view. We have a galactic view. Well, I guess I'm still in. Okay, I understand. I was already there. You already told me this stuff. We're going to go back to the galactic view. So, um, our mission is... There's a bit of a story where we are on this ship out here. Bad things happen. Uh, we got, you know, uh, betrayed. The Archon is out there. We don't like the Archon, and so we ran away. Uh, we ran away, and we, we landed on this planet. We found our buddy. Um, I forget his name. Uh, our buddy is here. Uh, his name is Sergey. My name is Nix, Captain. We got Sergey here, the engineer. Uh, and our job, our goal, is to go back to that place. But we really don't have to. This is kind of an open-ended thing. We can kind of do whatever we want. So um, we're going to go ahead and assign Nyx here as the specialist. She's going to be the drilling specialist. That's what she's going to do. Yeah. And my engineer, Sergey, here with cool glasses, is going to go be my my refiner, is what he's going to be specializing in. We'll mess with that later on. We'll explain all this stuff when we get into it. But right now, we are outside orbiting a planet here uh, in some random solar system. And in this system, we've got a few different places. We've got a garden planet, which we just landed on. We have a gas giant over there, which has lots of fuel. And we have a rocky planet, which has lots of metals. We use all those things to go and fix our ship up. Our uh, fuel, hydrogen and helium, we can get that from gas giants. We have oxygen, we get that from garden planets. We have whole integrity, which we can fix our ship by throwing in things like, uh, like, well, it tells me here, like iron. Throw iron at the ship, it fixes it. And we also have morale, which is a comfort thing. Keep people happy, basically. So there's a lot of talking going on over there. I'm not sure what's happening, but... Uh, hello, Neo Monk. How's it going? So, um... Ideally, we go around, we mine plants, we get iron. Fix our hole up. We go to garden plants, we get some oxygen. We go to the gas giants, we get fuel. Make the ship great. Uh, we can add in some systems as well uh, to make people happy. Um, we already have a few things like probes and telescopes and cosmic folders and uh, geo scanners, all that kind of stuff on the ship. Um, but for now, let's play the game and let's go and find ourselves a planet. 
No, we're just going to go bounce into the system. We're not going to do that yet. We're going to go over here, and we're going to check out the the gas giant. Let's fly over there. It's very pretty. Check this out. Hmm. Okay. Let's probe that planet. So now, uh, we choose to drill. Um, now, how much drilling do we want to do? We can We can send the drill down far and maybe break it. Or we can not go down far, maybe not break it, but the more the more we go, the more uh, stuff we get. Hey, Jeff, how's it going? All right, let's confirm. Eight is fine. We found ourselves some hydrogen, which we can just, we can pop it into our cargo hold if we wish, or we can pop it into our fuel tank. And there we go. We now have fuel. So there you go. There, There is, basically, that's the game. It's the idea here. We can't land on a gas giant because that would be ridiculous. And so we're going to go back to the solar system, and jump over to this rocky planet. Uh, the name of the system is Ham, by the way. Ham. And it is a pink planet. <laughs> I don't think this plus planet is just one giant pig. Let's land on this pig. It's a spiky pig. Okay, so now we are on the planet. What do we do? Uh, we can drill and try to get some metals. Sure. Our drill is in good shape. Let's drill that thing. So we found ourselves some iron. We found ourselves some thorium. Pop those in there. If we need to, we can fix our hole up, which we might as well. Uh, pop those guys in there. Um, yep. Uh, no, no, no. Don't, don't want to destroy it. Put it in the hole. There we go. Uh, thorium. So a lot of the stuff you may be wondering, like, what's what's the point of thorium? What's the point of copper? And again, that's that's where you're gonna go in and, and build uh, things. If we want to build a uh, a sick bay, for instance, we need five copper, five iron. Make a we can make sick bay. Makes people happy. They heal better. That kind of thing. Uh, healing for my crewmen will eventually we will go and uh, we will have missions. We'll find things out there on the planet, and we go do you know away teams or whatever, and we're gonna go do that. My ship looks like a bug. How dare you? I don't. Whoops. Yeah, that's fine. I, was, I, was, I thought I did something I shouldn't. Have. Um, I was I was distracted. I don't go to your ship and insult it. So we want to go to that way. Twenty two light years away. That's the goal and the story that's going on right now. But again, we don't really have to. So we can kind of go anywhere. We can travel anywhere here. We can pick up new things that tell us what's going on. There's a red dwarf over this way. There's a yellow dwarf over here in Sea Rug. Um, we have a. Uh, a cosmic folder range jump, and our our telescope's going to tell us what is basically a telescope. You know, we can see more things. So we're going to go over to this uh, this this um, yellow guy over here. It's kind of the wrong way, but the USS Isopod. Oh, I forgot! I forgot that was going to happen. <laughs> a nice like warp tunnel there. Yeah, it releases tomorrow. I don't know what time, but sometime sometime during during the morrow edge of the system, we find ourselves intercepted by a large flotilla of drones, which escort us to a space station. Numerous ships from various cultures are docked here, and we detect the ship being scanned from an unknown source. So we can bargain on over resources. We, we give them some fuel, they give us some hull. We can pay the tax. We get rid of an object. I don't think I have anything. And and we, I guess, get a short trip. Uh, or we just try not try to leave the area. We'll, we'll, we'll pay. We lost some sacred ointments, which we use to heal ourselves. Uh, okay, I didn't mean to go there, but okay, we're gonna go blue one. So, um, we've got three gas giants around here, so I guess it's gonna be fuel day. And you can see each jump is gonna take some, some fuel and things. Some, it's gonna take some fuel, oxygen, and, uh, and hull, just to get to these places. And we can go to the star if we get an ultra probe and uh, can do other things there. Let's fly over there. Uh, Bot Ross, that is not what I'm playing. Bot Ross. Bot Ross has been bad. <laughs> somebody, somebody have a chat with Bot Ross. Uh, one second. Let me fix my bot. My bot is, uh... He, you know, Bot Ross, um, you don't feed him and he gets a little antsy. Uh, let's see, where's my, uh, where's my timer? This one. Um, all right, all right. My uh, my link here. <laughs> yeah, 
Doesn't Bob know? Bob Ross know this is sponsored? That he can't act up like that while this is going on? Oh, bot. Okay. 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 Save that. There we go. All right. All right. Oh, you want a dad joke, do you? Sure, sure. We're already derailed. Why not? Um, so today, uh, today's, or yesterday, I should say, was my wife's birthday. And, um, you know, been married a long time. And some sometimes things just get on your nerves, you know? Um, sometimes she says things like, like, are you even listening to me? I mean, who starts a conversation like that? I don't understand. All right, let's probe this planet. Shall we? Ooh, we found some helium. All right, I'll gas up with that stuff, and now we could probe again if we wanted to. But there's 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 uh, uh, less chances that we will find more stuff, and there's plenty of gas giants to go around. So we're gonna go to the next one. So let's go to the next one, which is out here. And we're gonna go to uh, I like the it's it's you know it's not the not the prettiest thing, but it's so it's so smooth. Anyway, we're gonna go over here. <laughs> also, hey, Mashless. All right, let's probe this guy. And uh, you know what? We're going. I don't know, fish. I, I'm just scared. I don't think I want to do. Ooh, we got a little bit of a little bit of everything here. Uh, helium is better than hydrogen, if I remember correctly. Yeah, yeah, helium way better than hydrogen. So we'll just fill up to the top, and then we'll keep hang on either stuff. I can, you know, we might as well just toss this stuff in here because um, might as well. Uh, so we can go to the refinery here, into the refinery, into these minerals that we get. Um, occasionally we find these things on other planets. And what we can do is we can... Um, I don't know how to describe this other than just say open card packs. I think I think is probably the best way. <laughs> I mean, this is what's going on, right? We have these these minerals. We get things out of them. Occasionally we get some, we occasionally make some cool stuff. But um, ooh, we found some gold in there. And so we take those things and now we got some bits. So that's what happened there. Uh, pop this guy in there. We got a little thorium, which we're gonna hang on to. We got some gold, and again, the stuff will come in handy later on. So let's go and uh, and get out of here. And we're full on fuel, but you know we're we're here. We might as well stop at the other guy because the other guy has rings, and it looks cool. Yeah. So the original out there was, if I remember correctly, it's been a while, what seven years. Um, it was, there wasn't much, like, it wasn't much story. It was just sort of like, just sort of, uh, it was a mobile game eventually, right? Bounce to planet to planet, collect resources, go to the next. Hope your ship survives. Um, this one has added in, we got a story, and we also have, um, we have, like, away team missions, and that was never a thing before. Um, we can, like, equip our crew as well. So if we go to our crew, you know how we lost those those healing things. We can't see it right now, but... During the uh, the away missions, we can we can equip them with things. There she is with her helmet on. Um, she has some healing things, which is what got taken away from us. Um, and uh, and we'll find more of that stuff as well. Hopefully, we can find ourselves a, a, a cool away mission so we can go see that. So let's go. This this uh, this system is of no use to me anymore. So we're gonna go ahead and head out. We came from, came from that way. Let's go this way. I suppose we'll go to this guy right there. We got Beckeroth, Janai. Or debris. We're gonna go with Beckeroth because it sounds clean on through the warp tunnel. Hey Gout, how's it going? <clears throat> uh, this has one planet. We have a garden planet. Looks like though, though Beckeroth one. Let's go take out that planet. And buzz over there to the green guy. Okay, let's scan this guy. All right, so there is some um, anomalies, and we can kind of like try to ping these anomalies. I think it's over this way, like right over here. It's gotta be right, right here. And there's gonna, yeah, yeah. Come on, come on! I got it. Oh, oh, there it is. Okay, so some planets have up to three things. We found one. There's a village here. And so, you know what? Aliens. Let's go say hello. I'm going to land a little bug here. We can find new ships. We can find new crew. Uh, we can blast some aliens if 
we wish as well. Uh, let's go drill first. Take a little bit of oxygen, and let's do it's a let's do a little uh, little expedition. So get your helmet on. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead, gotcha. Um, but the four crewmen can go. We've only got two at the moment, and. Right. Uh, she is a survivalist and the guy's engineer. So we'll see these come in. We can also get a xenolinguish, but we don't talk. Uh, ex experience. I'll explain all this when we get into it. Okay. Uh, there's the, here's, that is her uh, healing thing that she had that we got lost. Um, we can assign her um, a thing, which we don't have anything because we lost it. But that's a, like a healing thing that she had. And um, I don't think I hit anything for, for you. Oh, you have a, you have a radar. Did I, did I miss clicking that? Yeah, we lost the thing for her, which is probably a bad thing. Yeah. But he has a radar that he can use. When resource vein is revealed, crew gains six experience. Yeah, that seems right. Huh. So anyway, uh, let's add these guys to the party. <laughs> and... There you go. Yeah, yeah, let's get out there. So this all works kind of on, like, um, in, in the olden days, if you've seen this game before, I will check it out, Andre. Should I check it out right? Should I check it out right now? Uh, in the old days, we had like a timer um, that where like our missions could only go so long. They got rid of the, they got rid of the timer, which I which I think is all right. Um, oh, you gave me a okay, okay, okay. I will hang one second. I will pop this in. Uh, okay, okay. Bot Ross, Bot Ross, activate. Second. Let me pop this into my, my bot real quick. And this one. Okay, that should be good now. Okay. There you go. There's there's a there's a link. Alright. That is good. Okay. So uh welcome to uh the green planet. There's a village around here somewhere. Um we're gonna go find it. We can walk around, and, and we all kind of walk together. Uh, we'll find resources out here somewhere, and see what we can do. Let's walk over here. Now, our characters, we can see they have hit points. They also have action points, and so they can only do so many things. Uh, but we're on the planet pretty much as long as we want, as long as there are things to pick up, which there's nothing here. But there's a village here. We'll go check it out. The group sounds hollow beneath our feet. After a search, we find high-stepped stairs leading down to a cave city. It appears to have been abandoned for millennia. It remains impressive and sinister feet. So this is where the... Uh, so she can use an action points to climb the main tower. Um, and she is a... Um, uh, ex ex exploration or whatever. Whatever her class was, she can do that. We can search the houses. Um, my people get a little sad about that, but we may get a module blueprint. We will. Uh, let's climb. We want resource? Sure, let's climb. So Nick's lost an action point, and we are now revealed a tile, I guess, over there. We climbed to a tower, and we looked around. So, uh, let's, let's go. We found... Oh, yeah, I found a couple things here. Pick these guys up. Here we go. I don't know if that does anything. Normally it says if it does something. I'm going to hop over here. Found some more junk. I'm just curious. Oh yeah, we got a geological inverter. That's exciting. Uh, is that another another village? Oh yeah. Okay. I saw another box over there. All right. So let's go village and say hello. Is this one abandoned as well? Where we enter this one? Get in there. Uh, oh, hello. He says uh, some things. Uh, so uh, if we had a um, someone who like spoke this, look at his glasses. We'd be in better shape. But we're going to say Oro Edeoshbi. Our, our response, the alien does not move. It emits a sound much like a purr. Okay. We've got a good reputation. Excellent. Um, let's trade with them. Oh, what? Can, we can we recruit with you? We have Atha here. This ship can only carry two people. So, aha, we can't have. But this is how we get new people. Let's trade. Uh, I have some gold. Would you, like, would you like my gold? Can I have some... What do you have here? You have a subspace reactor. A relaxation pod. 
Gravitational well generator. Increases the power of the cosmic folder via the addition of a photonic pressure propulsion system. My ship is tiny. It can't hold much. It allows the ship to probe in the surface of stars and recover resources. Oh, the ultra probe. We wanted that. How much? How much well, what do you want for that? I'll give you some gold. I'll give you some thorium. Oh, he thinks that's a good idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just a blueprint. I probably need the gold to make that, don't I? I bet you I do. I'll keep my thorium. I can find hydrogen elsewhere. Okay. We now know what a, uh, a, a ultra probe technology blueprint is. You know, I thought you'd make a dad joke about helium, and I'd go, he, he, he. Or some water, for some water, and I'd go, ho, ho, ho. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. All right, let's, uh, let's leave this village. I'm quite... Should I get the other stuff? It's pretty cheap. Yeah, we'll leave. Let's leave. Let's go back over here. Because I'm going to go pick that box up before we, we disappear here. Go to this one over here. It's actually kind of a nice plan. I haven't seen any place. Uh, a lot of times you get angry things that will poke you and make you bleed and all that. But this has been kind of nice. We found another geological radar, which we already got one of those. But we can sell it. So you can see she has used one action point. So she has that many action points for the mission. And they basically have to rest to get those back. Um... See if we can scout anything over here real quick. Since everything is peaceful, we're going to keep on looking. Mm. Alright. Let's get out of here. So let's call the old ship. They come over here. We can we can go to the ship, you know, and leave, but... We have a, we have a clicker thing until it comes to us. All right, so let's get out of here. Okay, we get some experience. Got a little morale because we went to a village. We found some things. Okay, let's see what it takes to make that that probe thing. Expedition is over. Your crew will experience fatigue. Got it. So they have a couple days before they get they come back. We can see that here. Um, yeah, she's got two days of fatigue. So basically, two two interstellar intersystem trips. Two intersystem trips. They will they will be better. Okay, got it. Uh, crew members are yeah effectiveness of technology on board. Got it. So she's she's my driller, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, I want to look at this this thing here. Ultra Probe. It takes four platinum and two silicon. Okay, so it's expensive. We could build a refinery. I already got a refinery. Um, I, I, the only thing I don't have is a sick bay. And I, I need one more. Is it, oh, it's not copper. That's carbon. Carbon. I could have got carbon from the guys down there. Yeah, well, we can pop this into the old, in the old refinery here. Uh, also, I didn't show... I think it's in break. We can disassemble stuff and get a tholium, a tholium back. We can fix it for a tholium. Uh, or an omega point, which is sort of the... Um, I don't know. I don't know what, what's the word for it? The, the omega currency. Uh, Raven Man, thanks for following. <clears throat> what, I, I got nothing. Oh, what a bunch of junk. Alright, let's pop some fuel in here. No, no, no. I keep missing that. And let's get a little bit of... I don't have any anything that can go there. So, oh, I guess I do have a sick bay. I didn't think I had a sick bay for some reason. I do have a sick bay. Um, why, do I, why do I think I didn't have a sick bay? I don't know. Anyway. Um, let's take off. Hey. Okay. So there's only thing, one one planet here, so might as well get out and let's make our way over to the let's do the uh, the storyline, you know. So let's go. We've got Benjamin over there. We got Gamaliel. Let's go to this yellow dwarf over here. Oh, 
All right, we are approached by a rounded spacecraft belonging to an unfamiliar civilization via computerized message. It tells us that it will supply us with fuel if we pay the price. But what is the price? We don't understand. How do we respond to such singular proposition? We refuse the offer. Without more information, accepting this offer would be foolish. We disengage as quickly as possible, not even bothering to send word of our refusal to the strange ship. <laughs> we just, we just, we just didn't answer our phone. <laughs> okay, I get it. Let's go to this, uh, this garden planet. Let's see what they got over here. Uh, it'll scan it. Where are you at? Where are you at? Good stuff. Right over here. There's two of them on this planet. There it is. Okay. Where do we go? Do we go to the, uh, the vegetative area? Or the seam of resources so there there's no risks for this one but there are risks there is a, a, a asphyxia or fever is risky here uh i think my crew is not ready for this are they let's see what happens let's see what happens maybe maybe the interstellar or whatever jump is fine i, I don't remember um how that works my ship looks at home here so, we'll drill first. Okay, we found eight oxygen, which I will take. Uh, and let's see if we can ex expedition. You guys up for it? No, they are not up for it. Hmm, okay. We do not explore then. Oh, bummer. I kind of wanted to see what's going on here. There's two things. Could be exciting stuff. Nah. All right. Oh, by the way, our ship um, has different things here. We got performance. Uh, where's my tooltip? There it is. So uh, higher performance, the less fuel it consumes. We've got ecosystem, uh, which is less oxygen it consumes. We've got resistance, is less fuel hull damage, comfort. We know this helps morale. Uh, and then I can hold two crew. And my range, can, I see, can you see this? My range of telescope is five, and my range, or telescope ten, cosmic folder, which is what I'm warping around with, is, is five light years. All right, let's get out of here. We want to be at this dumb planet anyway. All right, so let's go. I don't need any more systems here either. Well, bummer. Let's go over to this one then. Oh, let's go to this white guy, Gira. White dwarf. Ooh, choppy choppy. We discovered a solitary base, barely lit by its auxiliary generators. When we establish contact, we receive two messages. First says, "Careful, you must not approach." The other pleads, "Help us." The contradictions are leave us somewhat perplexed. Uh, well, yeah, we'll we'll dock. Phasers on stun. With caution, we send a solitary explorer to take... Yeah, good, good idea. Send, send the guy with the red shirt in. Take stock of the situation. It turns out that all the inhabitants died of a terrible disease. Our companion withdraws quickly, but they have returned carrying the virus. All we can do is isolate them and try to find a treatment. Uh-oh, Sergei's gonna die. Sergei. Sergei. Contains a storage array. Uh, it can be activated to manually save your progress. Only this type of save will be preserved after game over event. Um... Other thing is, this is a, a procedurally generated thing, so we got a different universe, you know, each time we pop in here. Um, yeah, we'll save, because I'm a little worried about Sergei. I don't think he's going to make it. Download our consciousness into here, I guess. Okay. And then... Let's go to... we got to find... Some way of helping him. Let's go to the next one. They're all the same. This one's actually a little bit less. Actually, no, it's a, that's a lot of hole damage. Gas giant, yeah. So let's go to the old gear right here. Or Tatooine, as it calls itself. Let's scan. One of those. One of those. Okay. We found a village. And we found some plants. So, well, we'll go to the village. I'm always up for talking. Ooh, that's nice looking. Yeah. Ship's fuel's getting a little low. Ah, we're fine. 
Okay, so let's go drill first. Drill is in used condition, which we can repair it. Okay. Uh, so there's our drill. To fix it, we need a little bit of, of iron. Uh, which is a little bit of a problem, because I don't have any iron. So we probably should keep some of that around. Um, but... It's fine. Uh, it's fine. So let's go and explore. Maybe we'll get some iron from these guys. Nothing for her. I got. I have two of these radars now. I have an inverter too. When a resource tile is revealed, four raw minerals are gained. Ooh, that's good. That's real good. I like that. So take that, buddy. I'm gonna add you to the party. Uh, no dying on this mission, okay? Okay. It's impossible to starve in this game. I, I, I wouldn't know. <laughs> uh, I can heal him. She has the ability to heal. I can spend one of my action points just to heal this guy. Uh, she also has a Tundra Herbal Tea status and uh, uh, this status. Uh, the number of tiles visible around us. Um, uh, so, we get, so we get speed and vision. This one gives us, reveals one chest closest to the team. I should have used that last time. We explored the whole planet. So we're going, we don't know where we're going. Actually, let's go over here. There, he's right next to us. We'll do a little exploring real quick before we go in. Say hello. Go to the abandoned village. So we search the houses. We can leave a souvenir. I don't have... Um, alien word. By structures of rotting adobe invaded by a kind of vine that grows thinly, thickly across the entrances. People lived here once and echoes of past dramas can be heard even now. But no one living remains. Let's search the house. Uh, we got a little sad about that, but we found an amber fossil. We need to find a box box of iron. That's what we need to find. Oh, oh, missed that one. There's some boxes. Okay. I found uh, quartz and it is it did it say tweezers? It said something. Some more plants. Stream's looking okay. Just over and it looks a little choppy. Let me see if I can adjust something here. Um, I'll put it on like it. There. We'll try that. See if it runs a little smoother. Sir, there's hey, Avic. Oh, How's it going? Thank you very much for the raid. I love cats. Mmm. Delicious. Delicious cats. Yeah, thank you very much. Welcome to Out There, Oceans of Time. We are exploring a planet, and we are reading gibberish right now, so we're just going to say some gibberish. Alien shakes with re repressed fury and begins equipping various accessories to protect itself from harm. When it's finished, it demands that we step away from it. Uh, let's let's trade with these guys. Uh, I could use a little bit of, of iron... I don't have any. Uh, we got a mess hall. We can get a, some solar sails from you. Plus one performance. That'd be nice. Um, I'd like some of that. And then I will give you some tweezers. Maybe not. Um, not too bad, Abic. Thanks again for the for the raid. Um, let me give you guys a little bit of, of oxygen. That's a lot, though, isn't it? That's kind of expensive. Okay, well, wait. We're in a little bit of a crisis because we don't have any iron... And so, maybe we'll wait. A lockpicking kit. A tea set? Oh man, I have a, showed up at the right time. When the wearer heals one or more of the crew members, they recover three hit points. I mean, I have to have a tea set. How can I say no to that? Here, you can have all my copper for a tea set. There we go. This is for you, Avic. <laughs> We're going to be the most dapper crew out there. <laughs> All right. We can recruit someone if we want. That guy. Um, but we don't have enough space on my ship. So uh, we're going to leave the village and hope we can find a little bit of iron uh, while we're out here because we're going to have a little bit of issues if we don't. Because my ship's going to get a little bit uh, broken. So we are, we are we're a landing party of two at the moment. Scan of the planet. 
And uh, if all goes well, we'll find some iron to fix our ship up. And we're going to head back to... Ooh, goodies. Head back to the scene of some sort of accident. Um, we found a renovator, a headlamp, and five gems. Okay, so I think we explored everything here. Let's get back over here. I'm gonna, I could call my ship, but we're just going to walk over there because no need squandering the fuel this time. A hydrate. All right, all right. Let's get over there. All right. Let's get off this rock. Nothing here but some weird circle things. Yeah, let's get out of here. Okay, got a little bit of experience. Now, this guy's a little bit hurt too. I was gonna hurt. I was gonna heal him. I forgot. Uh, we got a little sad about walking into a village, and we found some tweezers, a tea set, a fossil, and some quartz while we were there. So that was all good stuff. Okay, okay. All right, so we cannot drill because my drill is broken, but we should be able to fix it because there's, there's various ways of fixing this. So we've got like um, we can break things apart, like our geo scanner technology allows for the scanning of plants while in orbit. For instance, we can take that apart and get some iron. Um, we need a drill. It allows the ship to bend fabric of space time. We need that. Uh, we have a telescope we can take apart for a couple of iron. We'll probably have to do that. It allows the user to determine the nature of stars, and so we can see like if it's a yellow star or a white star or whatever that way. We'll probably break that thing down if we can't find anything. So, but we can pop in here, and we've got five rocks we can smash up, and we found an iron. There we go. So there's one piece of iron. Oh, I'm out of the router room. We're going to fix. Oh, oh wait, wait, cancel. Um, let me pop. Well, uh, I don't want to throw things away. Can I just do this? No. Um, I gotta have the platinum. So we're gonna throw out. I'm gonna throw out this garbage gold. We don't need this. We put the platinum in there. Um, go back. We're going to fix my drill. There we go. Drill is fixed. Okay. I'm in better shape now. Um, let's go. They, they need, they're they a little tired. They need two days to, to rest. So we're no more, no more away team missions for a moment. Let's get off this planet. Let's get out of here. And, uh, did I get another one? <laughs> uh, chum. Thanks for the follow. Thank you very much. Okay, so uh, we can't do any waiting missions, so we're just gonna go and fly around a little bit. Um, we're trying to get nine light years away over here to this, so let's do a couple little jumps. Maybe we can stop by this red dwarf and maybe get a little bit of. Um, was there? A, or wasn't a gas giant in that system? Was there? Get a gas giant so we can get our fuel back. One evening, the cook shares the legend of the red balloon. The story is gripping and melancholic, telling of a holy balloon that brings luck and prosperity to whoever catches it. When the story is over, we join the cook in their bedtime prayers. Next morning, what we, what do we wake to find before our ship? Well, the red balloon, obviously. I, 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 obviously. A satellite balloon drifts beside our ship. We blink a few times, amazed, before one member of the crew spots a survival crate fastened to it. What luck! We found some hafnium. Our fuel level has risen by 30. Well, look at that. All right, and in this system, there is no gas giants, but there is a rocky planet, which I can't do much with other than drill. So, I'm going to go ahead and toss this hydrogen in the fuel tank. And I think that's about it. We've got a little oxygen. We're full. We're fine oxygen. We've got, <laughs> we've got, uh, what is hafnium? I don't know what you use hafnium for. I guess to build things. So these, I didn't tell these spots off. So these spots here are storage spots. Uh, the blue ones here are system slots or technology slots. So we could put in like that ultra probe if we get four more of the platinum uh, into there. I have everything else though, so. Nah. Let's get out of here. We got one, one, more, uh, one more jump before these guys are not sweepy anymore, so. Uh, we need to go find ourselves a gas giant. We're going to hop through this. <laughs> This neutron star. Yeah, we're going there. Hey, Gavin, how's it going? Thank you very much. What's the half-life of hafnium? <clears throat> you know, one day science may have these, these answers for us. About half. <laughs> yes, hafnium is just, just nice to have. Right, right, right. 
Okay, this neutron, a neutron star with a fancy jungle planet around it. Let's go ahead and land. Squish down into this planet. The ship's hull has been weakened. Uh, be wise to get some resources here. Okay, uh, we're drilling. We're gonna go. We're drilling. Okay, we got garbage. All right, uh, carbon. We uh, we will need eventually some carbon. So, but we need we need iron. So, not much we can really do here. We could we could drill again, but. Unless we find a lot of stuff, I don't see any reason of drilling a second time. That's cool looking. Look at that. Uh, oh, there's another. I didn't see the other one. I, sh I should just look up here because this tells me what's going on. There's another plant, another star, or another planet over here in Rev. And we can land down here again. This is costing me fuel and hull to land. I should have worn my... Ooh, that's the Pancake Planet. I love this planet. It's, it's changed a little bit, so it's not quite as pancakey as it was last time we played, but I'm I'm still calling it pan Pancake World. Let's drill to an 8. Um, garbage. Uh, uh, yi Um, I don't know what to do with all this stuff. I may throw these plants away. I'm not sure what, what we can do with those right now. Nothing to refine right now. I need iron, and I need hydrogen and helium. Over here playing around with these, these rock planets. Not doing me any good. Um, yeah, we don't need to be here. There's no there's nothing to find here, so... What a boring planet. Uh, there's the location of the attack. Should we go there? Should we go to the, our destination? We can go there. It's in range. I I want to. I fear that we're gonna need some things before we get. So let's let's. I don't know. Let's just do it. Story time. So we were attacked. The, also, the story goes we were in like cryo sleep for like a hundred years after this attack. So we don't know what's going on. Officer, look! I got a visual on a ship adrift in this system. It must belong to the Archon. Let's get closer. Archon bad guy. I think. I think that's what that story was. Uh, yeah, yeah. So we have... We have the abandoned ship. We have the, we have the sun. We have two rocky planets. Let's go. Let's go. We're going to find ourselves a new ship here. Oh, look at that thing. You're right, officer. That's one of the ships that attacked us. Strange that it was abandoned even after they managed to free the Archon. It must have been damaged during the attack on the Vanguard. They probably prioritized getting away after salvaging it. That makes sense, though. Maybe the Archon's forces use it as the navigational beacon. What are your orders? Let's search the ship. Find some useful information there. So, um... The way this works. Well, we'll, we'll, we'll story time here. Uh, communications just kept functioning after a while after the battle. I can decode most of their transmissions. It seems the Archon has fixed, uh, fixated upon the idea of building some kind of Stellar Republic. The Stellar Republic. A pompous name for a pompous monster. Most of the information here is outdated, but it seems like the Archon succeeded. According to this map, the Archon's Republic spans thousands of worlds. It has an immense fleet with ships beyond counting. So, we were like, I think this guy was like a prisoner. We were the good guys. We got And we got attacked. They, they freed the guy. We escaped. We were in cryo for 100 years, and we landed where we started this stream, where we were on some planet. Found a guy with glasses. Came back. I can't believe all these civilizations have joined the Archon. I'm guessing they didn't have much of a choice. We need more recent information. These frequencies were discontinu discontinued decades ago. Check the ship's navigation system. Where it came from. Where was it going? Anything you can find. Let's see. It seems the ship's last log destination was a place called Atlas. Okay. Let's get to Atlas. Okay. So, um, we have a ship here. If we want, we can take this ship. Uh, and, and leave my hunk of junk behind and take the new ship. And this guy has a wormhole generator. Which seems like a cool thing to have. Um, I would like to have this ship. So we're going to move our stuff uh, over to this ship. And you can see this this guy is better performance. A little worse on the ecosystem. Which means it's going to use a little more oxygen. Which you're not problems with that. Uh, resistance is good. Comfort is good. It's got same amount of slots. I believe it can hold... I know it can hold... I'm pretty sure it can hold more people. Um, but let's go and, uh, and load her up. 
It comes, it comes equipped with a little bit of uh, hafnium and a little bit of silicon. We like silicon. These spots are damaged. Oh, I can make it into something. Um, I think I want some storage slots, but I don't have room for that stuff. Oh, I want more. I kind of want the plat the platinum is oh here. Let's throw that in there. Let's hang on to the oxygen. I want this carbon. I kind of do want the carbon. This place doesn't have a sick bay. I can disassemble it. I can't move it. I can disassemble it though and then rebuild it. So I shouldn't fix up my ship. What am I doing? I'm putting stuff in my ship. I shouldn't be doing that. Um, so I want... This one. Okay. I think... Right, we switched it, right? Right. Yeah. Okay. So we are now in this one. Make sure I do that right. Um, do I take the plants? I should dis I should disassemble everything, right? Certainly. I think this is safe to do. <laughs> I hope it's fine. If I'm doing something really stupid, you will let me know, chat. Yeah, there was a symbol button. I could have used that. Um, so to fix this guy, I need more platinum. I don't have it. Uh, what is it? My wormhole generator. Travel from one black hole to another black hole within a range of 50 light years. I don't know if I care about having that. We could just take it apart, but I can't carry all this stuff. So I can worry about it. Um, let's take... Well, let's go ahead and fix up my hole. Which seems to be the same, same as before. I guess we just transferred it over. Uh, and I'll take the silicon. Yeah, or pull out the popcorn. Right, right, right. Uh, I'll take the carbon. Okay. Give me all the cargo. Got it. Yeah, we are in the good ship now. Okay. Uh, you know what we could do? We could build something here. What we so we have a drill now. Good drill, like new. We have the cosmic folder. We need that. We need the probe. We need the reactor, of course. We need this. We have a shield generator. Um, and then we have this broken thing. We could build something else here. If we, something that we are, feel like we're missing, like a refinery. We could build it. We need a refinery. Pop a refinery in here. Okay. Anything else that we, uh, we need? We can get a geo scanner, which allows me to scan the plants while in orbit. That seems pretty nice. I think I'd like to have that. I have a little bit of iron hanging around. Name your ship Lollipop. Well, why would we do that? Uh, telescope allows me to see some more things. So if we could put an ultra probe, I really want that. Let's get the geo scanner. Yeah. Sure, and that's all we can afford right now. Okay, but we have space for one more thing. I'm going to take all these plants. Okay. Okay, are we good? Storage slot costs two iron. I could have done that as well, and I should have probably. Um... Med base, what I didn't make yet. I need five iron for that. Okay, I'm really leaning on getting rid of this guy, but I think I'm going to leave it. Okay. I have a new ship. Stuff is broken. Uh, it's fine. Oxygen levels are bad. Uh, well, I got some of that. There you go. All right, here you can have some more. Okay. Let's get out of here. Let's leave my dumb ship behind. Let's take this new one. Uh, I, I am still a little on low on the hull, so we could probably go and uh, fix that thick guy up. It does take copper to fix. I keep on getting copper and, and carbon mixed up. I, might, I apologize. Um, let's go check this guy out. Gamu. The good ship lollipop. Can I name it? Surely I can name my ship. Um, surely I can name my ship. Come on, surely I can name my ship. 
Oh, man. Let's scan this guy. There you are. Oop. Okay, we got something there. And... Something over here. There. Okay. So we have minerals there. And minerals there. Um, that's dark over there. Let's go on this side. <laughs> this is the poo planet. Alright. Uh, let's drill. Put this new drill to work. Oh, good stuff. Excellent. Excellent. Uh, I could use some fuel. Uh, I'm going to I'm gonna spend the two to put in a couple more storage slots. Four, I should, should say. And then I could build the, mid, the sick bay, which makes people happy. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay, and then the last one, we'll just, we'll just toss it in there for now. I probably should save one iron just in case my, my drill breaks, but yeah, it's fine. Okay, let's go explore this place. I may go drill again, actually, just because we know there's good stuff here. All right, um, you're you're all right, and you got that inverter thing, which is good stuff. But we have to do, wait. Where's my tea set at? So each time a chest is open, you get one more all material. I like this thing. When the resource was revealed, we get four, so that's way better. Mm -hmm. uh, can you not have because you're a survivalist, you don't get to hold the tea set? I'm a little uh -huh. bummed by this. Yeah. Uh -huh. I really want the tea set. Okay. Explore this planet and hopefully find. Um, I didn't catch. Did anyone catch how many people I can have on my ship now? How many crewmen? I didn't look. Um, let's go with that. This way. I will take some ores and some more ore. Ooh, lots of ore. Lots of ore. Hey, we got a box over here. What's in the box? I found one. I found another tea set. Okay, we have we have a mission. Let's collect as many tea sets as we possibly can have. <laughs> All right. More boxes. <laughs> okay. All right. All right, we are very dapper. <laughs> All right, more of that. Uh, let's go, um... Can we go that way? Is this all that's here? Tea? It's all that's on this planet. It's more tea? I'm gonna peek over here real quick and see. What do you have? I forget what you think. Cover hit points. Reveals one chest closest to the team. Yeah, we use it. Nothing. You make us go faster. That's my ship. Um, I think. I think we've seen everything. Yep. All right. Let's get out of here. We found all the tea sets that our civilization loved tea. Nothing here but tea and rocks. Okay, let's get out of here. I think I'm going to drill one more time because we all found a lot of good stuff. Found 33 minerals and two tea sets. That no one knows how to use. We need to find a planet that has someone there and we can go and uh, use that. I'm going to drill one more time. We're going to go, we're, yeah, drilling all the way. Okay. I did use my fuel, I didn't realize. We've been paying attention. The fuel tank is pretty low, isn't it? Um, it's dangerously low. Let's use the this uh, this guy. This guy's a little broken now. I should hang on to a, an iron. 
Uh, let's let's use the refinery. A lot of stuff in here. Let's find some things. Praise on TNT. And a lot of things that I can't carry. There's that copper. We can put that in a hole. A little bit of iron. That's good. Um, more platinum. That's good stuff, too. Okay. Carry everything but the iron, which I need the iron. Um, I think what I'll do is I'll throw the copper into the hole. Hang on to the iron. And... Leave this planet and hope we have enough fuel to get where we want to go. Oh, get, get, me, get me out of here. It takes four fuel to take off. This is a problem. I'm not going to find anything here. We're going to have to go to a different system. Where are we trying to go now? We're trying to go way over that way. 62 light years that way. I don't think I can make it anywhere. I don't have enough fuel to go there. This one only takes two fuel to get there. Let's try it. Yeah, we need a gas station. A large beam of light appears in a system we are occupying. As we watch, it settles near a star. Further observation reveals that it seems to be altering the orbit of nearby celestial bodies, pulling other stars and smaller planets towards it. We do not know the origin of this new light, nor its intent. It is better to flee from. Is it better to flee from potential danger or continue as planned? Ah, it's fine. Beam of light gradually seeps into the star it had originally fixated on. As the last of it disappears from view, the star grows and implodes upon itself, transforming into a small black hole. This system star has turned into a black hole. Cool. Cool. Uh, we, when equipped on board the ship, wormhole generator technology permits travel. F oh, right. Right. We could, we could do that. Right? I f did I ever fix that thing? I didn't. I'm short one platinum and th three iron. Hmm. Okay. What do we have here? Man, I know there's no where's all the gas giants at? No point in going there. Um I don't have sufficient resources to make this journey. Do you want to attempt it in all or nothing? Um, let's see. I can take you apart for nothing good. Nothing gonna break down into hydrogen. We can't die already. We can't. We can't die already. Put this in the tank. If it reaches zero, the ship begins to drift through space. A slow death is inevitable. Uh, our only other option... I can't really do anything with that. We have, we have no option. I don't have the platinum for that guy. Um, uh, we're, um... Hmm... Hmm. <laughs> um, we're gonna do an all or nothing. Here it goes. Yep. No, game over. Out of fuel, we tried to find another energy source. We even continued to sacrifice members of the crew for their biomass. Those calculations were a mere formality. We are now adrift. After a solemn speech from the captain, followed by a few religious rites, we entered cryostasis. The hope is that one day we'll be found, but that prospect is very dim. Indeed. We got it. We got it this time. Alright. Um, ship's levels of fuel is low, it says. Do something about it, it says. Have I not gone to this one? Surely I did. Let's go here. Let's destroy my hull. Pick this guy up. I thought I had already gotten this one. Maybe I hadn't. Six out of ten. Oh, come on now. You're being too... You're being, you're being far too generous. Uh, let's do a six. 
take all that stuff. Uh, let's let's helium it up. Here we go. That's everything. We're gonna probe again. Can I do it again? Okay. Okay, we broke everything. It's fine. Things break all the time. Cost me a couple iron. We'll get it. Um, let's leave this terrible system. Actually, not yet. Let's go to... There's a rocky one here also. Rich in metal. Let's go there. That joke broke the game. <laughs> uh, should we land here? Is it worth landing here without something to look at? Or should we only land where there's things like things to land on? That's some, I think maybe that might be our, our um, my technique this time. Let's hop over here to this red giant. Oh, oh boy. Yeah, it was it was a pronouncing a W like a V joke. That's one of those. <clears throat> All right, so we got a couple more rocky places. We'll uh, we'll pop in there. It takes three fuel to get there. What do we have here? Ooh, let's scan it. This is what we're looking for. This way we can get kind of a double whammy thing. You know, we can drill it and find good stuff. And um, find some tea sets. Come on, come on, come on. Where are you? Where are you? I know you're over here. There it is. We found uh, something spooky. There's a possibility of asphyxia and bleeding. Ooh. Object or minerals. This one has blueprints, object or minerals. There's two. Uh, we need an engineer, which we've got an engineer. We're doing this one. Okay. Alright. Back on Pooh Land. Let's do we would drill first? Yeah, I think so. My drill's a little broken. Um I don't know. This is also using fuel. Ooh, good good stuff. We broke some things. We can fix it real quick. Okay. Uh I'm gonna hang on to it. Like, no point fixing it if I'm about to get a new ship. So I'm gonna wait and we'll go explore some things. Uh Captain. Uh, you're in the party, and uh, he is as well. He's going to take that inverter, so we get some free stuff. Or do we want the experience? Seven. This is a legendary object. It seems like it's the thing to do. First tile is revealed. He's going to gain. Yeah, that's that's the thing to do. Okay. You might die of... Uh, you might lose your breath. You might... Uh, what was the other one? Starvation? Is that what it was? I don't know what it was. Spikes. Spikes are bad. We're going to avoid those. Let's cruise on over here. We found friend or foe. Good question. Our team discovers what appears to be a base constructed above the planet's surface. It's large medical disc containing plants and equipment we don't understand. This condition does not apply. It has been abandoned, and constructing a base here in the middle of nowhere is a little suspicious. Someone is trying to hide their presence or activities or both. So we can avoid it, we can investigate, or because we have a her, a survivalist, is what she is, we can invade the base. <laughs> okay, yeah. Shoot to kill. Phases on stun. Shoot to kill. Send a survivalist into attack. The combat is over quickly. Apparently the base was protected by a single unarmed individual. Could it have been a civilian? <laughs> when he didn't ask, we just shot. Some of the crew protested in indiscriminate, the indiscriminate violence. It seems our actions were not in vain. Inside the structure, we find many objects that may have may be of use on our journey. All right, we found a tourist guide to the galaxy. We went and we found it. that's that's our stuff. A magazine. Okay, maybe maybe, maybe a little a little much then. Uh, we're gonna avoid those vents because we won't be able to breathe. Uh, both of them are gonna make us hurt. So which one do we want to walk over? Let's go over here and see if we can find something this way. Uh, the thing we're looking for... That's our ship. Yeah, I was thinking that might be a little bit of a 
Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy kind of thing. There's the thing we're looking for. Find some minerals. Let's go over there. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and use this, I think, to, to heal myself. Let's see what this... Let's do this first, and then we'll do the heal. Okay, our expedition, expedition comes upon the location of an ancient city. Vertical, but dug and sculpted into the earth rather than built on the surface. Completely empty, only the echoes of our own footsteps greet us. There's an abundance of resources somewhere in this dead city, but where? Uh, he can use all three of his things to track the minerals. Yes. The city is a vertical labyrinth built down to the very limits of the planet's crust. Our engineer uses materials left behind by the civilization to build a, def a def detector capable of leading us directly to the city's reserves. Hey, Skyrock, thank you very much. We are pleased by a quick results. Uh, by such quick results, the expedition has been an utter success. We found an ancient compass. Done. So we can call the ship and get out of here, uh, or we can keep exploring, and I see no reason to stop. There's more boxes over here, and perhaps more tea sets. Thanks, Skyrog. Three months. Uh, what do we get? Uh, ooh, a ventil ventilated suit and some azurite. That's cool. Let's go look. Um, let's go mosey on over this way and, and see what we can find over here. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Ooh, there we go. We're really looking for some iron. We're in dire need of jamming that into our ship. I don't want to walk on this stuff, so we're going to go around it. This makes us not breathe. Ooh, another one. The pit. She does have two action points, so we're going to do it. From a good vantage point, a uh, good vantage atop a hill, our expedition scouts out scouts out an area that looks like looks very rich in minerals. No mere mining location, however. In the valley, we spot a species of giant herbivores that First Officer Sergei dubs Diplodocuses. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Seems they travel from all over the continent to die in this location. The decomposition of their bodies causes a very dense accumulation of precious minerals. The introduction of the wild animals to the equation gives us pause. This could be dangerous. Uh, we can't do the remote mining because his his time units uh, or whatever are gone. So we're going to have to stay away from him. I don't want to stay over. I want to collect cautiously. I want them. We just we tried to attempt an on-site extraction with our standard collection tools. These creatures seem merely curious as we approach, but they begin to show significant distress when they see we are collecting the remains of their fallen comrades. I can't imagine why. The distress quickly deepens into fury. They attack, and w one of our expedition members is injured, forcing us to flee. Was that uh, a gift sub? Uh, thanks. Thanks, Ardent. Thank you very much. Sergey's going to be bleeding a little bit for four rounds. Ow, Sergey. Always fooling around. Okay, let me, let me heal Sergey up here. So this one, and we click on... Oh, I did the wrong one. Oh, yeah, yeah. It did all right. Okay. So Sergey healed a little bit. Uh, we can walk through this. I don't know if I want to chance it. Let's go take a peek. Oh, there is things. Uh, we could get there and then just go this way and find it. Okay. Let's take a peek over here. We're going to go back the long way. Because uh, I'm not going to get take damage. We're going to go to that last one. We don't have a lot of... We, don't need, we got one time unit left, so we can't do much. But, you know, everything's something good. I think I can walk through here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't, don't complain to me. That's that's Sergei's job. So he's down to two hit points. We probably should heal him. But I want to see. It'll tell me. It's blinking at me. No, no, we're fine. Okay, got another ancient compass. Okay, good. I was I was hoping for some more of those. Uh, let's get back to the ship here and uh, and get out of here. Titan, thank you for the follow. Okay. 
A lot of minerals. We found some compasses. Between, oh, yeah, there's my tourist guide. My, yeah, Hitchhiker's Guide. A suit. Some Azure. I'm curious about that suit. I'm curious. Uh, I'll take all this stuff. I don't have space for any of this stuff. Oh, any plants on this, this ship? Throw those in there. I want to keep those. We'll look through them. Um, ay, 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 ay. Do I need the plants? Probably. I don't really want to squander my hole. My, this. I don't want to fix things. I'm going to throw the gold. I don't, I don't, it's 14 plants. Ah. I'm sure we need them, but we're going to wait. Um, now, we, we, we drill again. What do you think? One more time. One more time. Not really worth it. Okay. Let's take off. Uh, I'm curious. So, this new suit you have, you're already wearing it. You got the military suit and you have this... How do I change that out? Oh. Hmm. hmm. Okay, let's get out. I feel better now. Um, I shouldn't say this, but I have high, high hopes. Uh, let's go to... Do we want to stop by this one, the old, old bowl over here, or do we want to continue on? <laughs> stop it. Stop it. Chat has lost their mind. We want to go back to Rev where this Neutron Star is. We've had such a good time there before. Let's do it again. We come across a standard, rather ordinary relay station. While in orbit, while its orbit is unusually wide, we don't take much notice until the crew discovers what is doesn't res that it doesn't respond to our signals. It appears empty. What could have caused the inhabitants to flee? So we take a whole damage and gain some fuel. We can touch it. We lose the technology, but we gain an abandoned ship. Yeah. Equipment My pro broke. We can fix it. Easy fix. Let's go take a look at that ship. New freedom. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ooh. Ew. What? What? Look at it. It's so uh, it's so much better at performing ecosystem resilience. It only has 18 slots, however, but. Look at it. Did you see it? I mean, I think we know what we're doing. We're flying in a space tick. Yes, my new ship. I, um... What do you have here? This is a life seed. Extraordinary technology that harnesses the strange energies of Omega. Transform rocky planets into garden planets. Weird. Geoscanner. We got the refiner. We got the generator. We got everything we need. We can fix this guy up into, uh, I don't know what we want to put in there. We can put sick bay in there. Maybe we just leave it until we know what we need. We're taking everything. We're going to disassemble everything. Take everything else. Uh, I, forgot to, I forgot to run this through my, my fixer. Uh, let's go ahead and fix the hole. Oh, I did. Oh, yeah. Never mind. I have a whole stack. Um, I need to run the refinery. Can I do the refinery? I can do the refinery now. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, I understand. The game's like, are you sure you know how to play this game? <laughs> Do you really know what you're doing? Okay. Let's find some good stuff. It's like Wolfrium. Is that what that is? Oh, t yeah, well, Tungsten. I'm all out of uh, water. Oh, yeah, we're naming this ship Moya. Man, I don't have space for anything. What do you need to get fixed? Oh, I, I can't I can't look at it. Um, well, the oxygen needs to go in here. Uh, the hole needs to go there. Do I want to put it all in there? I, well, who would do this? Helium first. And hydrogen. No, ever. I need the hole to go in there, but we need to fix it. Or we need to make sure we have some spares. Um, 
It takes two. Two tungsten and four carbon, and we can fix this guy. Transform rocky planets into garden planets. Is that like... It, so it just gives us free oxygen, basically. That was a that was a Farscape reference. Yes, yes. Fantastic show. Uh, all right. Uh, I'm not going to fix it just yet, because I can't. And this ship is... is empty. Oh, I'm going to... Oh, that's right. That's my whole plan. Was to take that, which I do have the four now. I need the gold. Not really. I can make this into a one of these. Here, let's just do this. Back over here. So that's what my plan was before. Uh, and we're going to run the refinery again. Pick all that stuff up. Oh, look, we got another one. We need, how many of those? We need two, right? That's it. We can fix my tree. My bug has a tree in it. Spectacular. Does it tear from our planet just to get oxygen? I guess. I don't know. When we, get, when we land on the garden planet, we get our oxygen tanks filled up. So I'm going to guess it does that. Um, I'm going to turn this... Oh, I can't. Do we just want to throw gold away? That sounds like a bad idea. Problem solved. Okay. Now I can fix you, right? I can. Okay. Give me the rest of the stuff. There we go. Let's get out of here. We got a new ship. Looks like a bug. Uh, it can only hold two crew. But it is it is much it's much more uh, fuel efficient, oxygen efficient. Uh, and hole resistant with the, with the shield that I have on there. It's a little more com comfortable also. So this ship is all right. If I build a sick bay, it's plus five comfort, so it'll help out that as well, even more. Uh, when it's greater than 75, it increase, increases morale with every jump. So 15 more will put us where we're, we're uh, like not declining. This takes whatever I want to turn it into. I don't know whether I want, what I want to do with it, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna fix it yet until I know what I want to do with it. Okay, let's uh let's let's see what else is in the system. We have some garden plants around, lots of garden plants. Let's go to uh, this guy right here. Oh yeah, that's great. Controls might be buggy. Oh man. Oh man. Uh, let's go. I'm gonna go to the next system. Forget this place. There's the scene of the attack. There's our our story mission. If we want, I don't care about that shit. But I'm gonna go take. I'm gonna go scrap it and take it for my own stuff. Oh, we're a warp bug. Um. Oh, the new Lost in Space. I just I couldn't get into that one. The new Netflix one. I tried, but just, just couldn't do it. It's one of those shows. I have a problem with shows that like the like the only time anything bad happens is when it was because somebody on the show does something stupid. Like um, Fear the Walking Dead was that way. Like nothing would have happened if someone just didn't do something stupid. And like the whole storytelling device is character does something stupid. Uh, and resolve. That, that's that's the uh, I, I, I can't handle it. Anyway, let's disassemble all the stuff on this new guy, which we don't want anymore. Or the this guy, I mean. Pop all that in there. There we go. Okay. Take our bug someplace else. Hey, tea time. How's it going? We're trying to go way, way over there. And let's, let's, we'll try it. Uh, I'm going to go a little slower this time, though, because we've learned our lesson, I think. Somewhat. Um, I'm pretty good. Everything's pretty good here. So, I think... We'll go to, we'll go to Judah here. Let's see what we can find. Time to bug out. That's right. <laughs> uh, ooh, it's got like a Pluto. Oh, what is that? An abandoned ship again. We got a save a save spot. I like it. Uh, I'm gonna go save it right now because we're in good shape right now, and I got a bug. 
and I have high hopes. Okay. We shall save. Uh, and then we're going to run over to that abandoned ship. Let's see if we can find another bug. Only after ticking that plant off the list. <laughs> Look at that one. Ooh, that's a big one. It has 26 slots. It has a tree of life as well. Man, how do I... I gotta take that one. I, I have to, right? Look at it. I ain't gonna miss this one. What's that thing? Oh, I have that. That's not that. that that's the uh, telescope. Uh, it also has the wormhole generator with it. It wants the reactor to get fixed. Interplanetary reactor, capable of interplanetary. Oh, never mind. Yeah, we'll go ahead and we we got we got to go. We got to go from the, we're advancing from bird or from bug to bird. Yeah. Yeah. Bug, you were great. Load the cargo up. Disassemble everything. And load it up. Okay. And we have plenty of cargo space here. I'm going to go ahead and spend a little bit of my iron. A couple storage slots. We'll save those other ones for something else. We can go ahead and fix my reactor. And I think I, I don't think there's anything I need to build. Uh, sick bay. I guess I don't have sick bay. Which I could do. Yeah, let's do it, because this is not the most... Ooh, it is now, okay. No, it's not. No, it's not. 35 comfort. This is not a very comfortable ship. Okay. I think we're looking good. What else is in the system? Uh, we can go get some more gas over here. Is that more crew space? I didn't see. That's what I was going to look at. Uh, no. It does not. I was hoping it would. There we go. Take this up and probing it again. Okay. Not quite as efficient as the other guy. But hopefully, it'll, it'll pay for itself here. Uh, let's run to this, this this guy and see what happens. So I can terraform. Oh, I have to use one of these Omega things to terraform it. Oh, I don't know if I care about that. That doesn't look right. <laughs> uh, Lieutenant, I think we, I think we landed a little funny. <laughs> okay. Um, I broke my rule of uh, of landing on plants like this. Unless they have something special. Uh, we can go to this one. We need to get some oxygen in our tanks anyway. I'm going to land here because we get oxygen. Maybe that's like the stairs back there. <laughs> oxygen is full. Uh, we're going to go drill a little bit. Grab a little bit of copper, a little oxygen. Um, what do you take to... So you can take hydrogen, helium, helium. Just oxygen for that. Just iron for that. So like the, the, the other guy took copper, remember? So not quite as cool. Okay, let's get out of here. We're going to find another gas giant. So let's get to... Uh, we'll go to Simeon. The hole's a little, little bad. Of course, a star with only a single planet in orbit. It is the size of a moon and covered with vegetation. That's no moon. Enough uh, that it should have lots of oxygen in its atmosphere. Science officer Sergei finds it strange, however, that so much vegetation could exist so far from the sun. Should we explore it? Well, of course. 
We land the ship and begin to replenish our stores of oxygen. While doing so, we quickly come to understand that how much, how so much vegetation has grown here. The entire planet is a ball of glowing magma around a hot uranium core. The ship begins to sink, and we really have to push the engines in order to escape. Hopefully, the damage isn't too great. Uh oh. You lie. There's two planets here. Uh, well, we we are short on a lot of things. Again. But we have plenty of iron to fix that. I'm not going to put all of it in there, though. Get two behind. That's all going to go in there. Okay. And do we want to land on any of these things? We might as well. Try the other one. Ain't nothing good there. Ooh, yeah, we got something good here. Okay. Where are you at? Alright, we found uh, resources. Very scary resources. And more scary resources. This is going to have blueprints, object, minerals. Minerals, Omega. Omega is good stuff. Like, it's the save me from dying resource. We want to have that. Uh, let's go drill first. More of that tungsten stuff. Um, it's expedition. So yeah, you're uh, you're gonna go. What can I carry? Ancient compass. Crew has five percent less chance of being affected by blindness. All right. Cool. Mm-hmm. Keep those minerals coming in. I would love to have more people in my party. We got that new suit, though. It doesn't seem to do anything. Uh -huh. mm. I'm not sure where that comes in. It's a cool-looking ship. I don't care what you say. So we're not going to step on the spiky things. We're going to walk around here, tiptoe around here, and step on that kind of stuff. I have to step on a few. Oh, that's all bad. Mine heist. Well, I'm gonna get poked if I step there. How much is it gonna hurt me? Twenty-five percent. Give him a heal. Should I have? Should I have damaged? Oh, is it just stopping on it that hurts us? I thought we walked. If we walked on it, it hurt us. What's that? Solaria. Expedition, expedition comes across a strangest of residences. A magnificent villa, apparently built by a wealthy hermit and maintained by an army of robots. Mechanical butler gui uh, guides guides to the lord of the estate, who has been dead for centuries. It withered, its withered corpse sits on a patio, overlooking the view and quite unaware of its retinue or guests. We relieve the Lord of a valuable item and prepare to leave. However, the butler blocks our way, saying the master did not say you could leave. We're going to beat the robot up. When one lone strike to the most vulnerable place, our survivalist dues the robot. We depart the sinister residence in peace, leaving the re remaining legion of robots to their work. I got a headlamp. All right. And all it cost me was just a little robot murder. Ooh, boxes. More headlamps. Oh, there's spikes over there. We're going to try to watch out for those spikes. That's where we're trying to go. Yeah, 
yeah, it's survival. Is, that's, that's that's the Kirk trait. Yeah, yeah. Survival means use your boots. Um, I don't know that I can get there without stepping on bad things. So, is it okay to walk through that? It is. Okay. Expedition arrives in a large open air mine. The minerals here are abundant, and the veins glisten under the starry sky. A veritable treasure trove. However, there are minor drones here. It would seem a nameless interstellar corporation is farming the area's resources, and yet we haven't come across a civilization. Is the corporation plundering the planet? Have these robots been working here long? Can we take our share without provoking them? Hijack those drones. Engineer locates the drone's main communication frequency. The technology is robust, but it seems ancient. Relatively easy matter to reprogram and to mine them for, for us. They even deliver the materials to our requested location without our even having to move. We relax while the drones take care of everything, satisfied by the thrill of a successful mission. I accept. Okay. Um, well, uh, we can peek. A little, we'll, we'll take a couple little looks around here. I'm not going to squander my fuel, that's for sure. I'm pretty sure those are going to hurt me if I step on them. Okay. Okay. That's why you should never listen to me when I, when I, when I play these games. Uh, Crystal Tear. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you very much. Our exhibition comes across a hulk, the hulking remains of an exviscerated ship. The silence is oppressive. As is the stillness, there's nothing here. As we gather to leave, several forms pop into view. We barely have time to register them as a small platoon of humanoids begin be human beings before they turn their weapons at us. Let's identify the threat. Our engineer cautiously raises their arms, signaling against violence. Cautiously, curiously, a member of the platoon also raises their arms. The engineer laughs and explains that it is a mirrored holographic projection. Upon closer inspection, they explain that it has physical manifestations... If we had tried to fight, the device had the ability to harm us. Danger avoided. We salvage and many comp salvage many components from the wreckage. Now, you know, you know, my captain was was just itching to kick those things. She loves kicking robots. Okay, let's get out of here. Where's my ship at? There it is. Okay. Uh. Do you have your thing? Oh, it's just health. Uh, sure, use it. Alright, let's get out of here. Is there a path? Oh, was there a path to us? I, I, oh, I may have missed one. Alright, um, we got lots of stuff. We got some morale out of that. Out of that. We found some minerals. A headlamp. Radar. Scanner. As you're right. Seth, I don't think we can carry all that. Um, let's get out of here. I guess we can. Okay. Yeah, we gotta go find ourselves... Uh, well, let's hit the, rea the reactor first. We gotta go... Um, find some more fuel. I didn't get any Omega. You're right. I was whole, I was the reason I was here was for Omega. Yeah. That's right. I told you not to listen to me. Okay, we'll take all this stuff. Um, we're still here though, so we can just go walk back out again, right? Are you guys too tired? Ah, they can't go back out because they're tired now. Oh man. I was so excited about the Omega, and then I just left it there. I'm such an idiot. <laughs> Don't play games like me. <laughs> All part of the plane, you know, makes it to where you're just furious at the way I play the game, so you make makes you go out and buy it. That's my that's my scheme, you know. That I have been accused of a few times. All right, we intercepted a message, a machine drifting through space. Its workings appear quite beyond anything we've seen before. It's emitting a peculiar message that advises caution, do not activate. However, our instruments detect a small amount of Omega within its frame. What do we do? <laughs> what do you think we do? 
After much discussion, we decide to activate the machine. It buzzes, then fires a beam in the direction of our system, the system star. Several minutes later, time enough for the light to travel to our do location, the star withers. First turning brown, then black. It has been transformed into a black hole. All right. We have a wormhole generator, right? We do. Oh, we're using it. Uh, do we do we care about stopping at either of these places? I think we just go to the, we just go to the black hole. Let's go in there. Don't try this at home. Let's go through. What felt like five minutes to us? Ten thousand. Ooh, what's happening? Ooh, okay. Does it cost Omega to travel there? But I don't have any Omega. Well, that didn't mean good. It seems very cool. Spaghettification. No, uh, we're not gonna go here. We're gonna we gotta we gotta kinda be mindful of of um gas giants. Messleth, thanks for hanging out. Have a good one. Extraterrestrial Traveler hails us in a friendly way, and we decide to allow it to dock with our ship. Its explorations have made it rather wealthy. Its crew is very appreciative of their captain. So we can get a module blueprint. We can gain a module, lose some oxygen. Or a fuse. I will take... Oh, sorry, morale. It's morale, not module. I'll take a blueprint. Who needs health points? Mess hall has been added in. I mean, that'd be kind of nice, because then we can go and fix up. I need, I need, I need something from... I need fuel. Um, mess hall, I can make people like this. Uh, their morale up. Plus 20. That's a lot. Uh, I need cobalt. What's my I need cobalt? No cobalt around here. Always, I need, I need a, I need some sort of machine that makes ox, that makes helium. Can we get one of those? I don't know if I want to risk landing on a planet here. If I got that Omega, it could have traveled through the black hole. I know, I know. I wasn't gonna say anything. Thanks for saying something. Gas giant. I smell one. We also have a storage array. Let's hit the gas giant first. We'll gas up. Okay, we're going to probe again for a whopping three, but we can fix it. Um, okay. That didn't do as much. What else is here? There's a rocky planet, there's a garden planet, there's a save, and there's a there's that. I don't have the ultra probe, do I? Do I have the still have the tech for it? Not the one I meant to do, I meant to do a different one. I went to that one. That one. Four platinum. I'm one platinum short. Shield generator might, be, might not be a bad idea. Because there's plus two resistance. So we don't take as much hull damage whenever we fly around. If I'm planning on keeping this ship. Which you know as soon as I get a new one. I'll find another one. I'm going to take it. <laughs> um, probe the surface of stars and recover resources. Got to be some fuel or something. You're doing a fine job, Nook. Keep up the good work. We're all counting on you. See, now if you leave comments like that, I'll read every single one of them. Thank you, Count. Let's go and, um... I don't know, you think I should do it? Let's wait for a moment. I'm gonna save. Real quick. Saved. Um, we just need a gas giant, so I'm not going to look at anything else. We're going to go over here. It cost me seven.
Uh, Officer Sergei has locked himself into the galley to prepare a surprise meal for everyone. He wants us to try a special dish that was passed down to him by his grandmother. Suddenly the fire alarm sounds. Everyone is at the post except Sergei. Um, we gotta go see Sergei. Great deal. Smoke is billowing out from under the kitchen door. We break it down only to find Sergei lying on the floor. Seems he is suffering from the effects of psychotropic mushrooms burning in the pan. The smoke is dense and affects many of the crew before we manage to clear the area. Great. Way to go, Sergei. Way to go. The system contains the civilized, civilized planets full of interesting opportunities, much like villages encountered during expeditions. I would like to go there. Let's get some fuel first. And then we'll go visit the nice people of the, of the galaxy. That. Cool. Uh, yeah, we're going all the way. Okay, 17 isn't much. 4 is bad. I spent 10 to get that 4. Um, let's go... Yeah, we'll go visit them. What's the worst that can happen? We got What's-Her-Face that kicks robots with us. Um, slightly improves the morale of the crew. Morale too low. Some members may wish to resign. Nah. They'll love it here. Ooh, look at this place. Um, okay. Let's explore the city. You members of the crew head to a local hotspot to experience this planet's manner of partying. Celebration degenerates into a brawl and all our crewmates return injured. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's we can't recruit anyone. We don't have any room for anybody. Wish I could kick someone out. Yeah, wish I could kick someone out. Alright, let's trade. Is that like a crewman? Oh, you have an Omega, do you? A flash. Uh, okay. Ancient compass. Ointments. We lost those a long time ago. Oh, it's a, it's a swiftness thing. That's what it is. Um, what else do you have? Tau stasis. Many of the pockets of space created by the cosmic folder. Plus the performance. Supraconductor. Shield generator. Plus in comfort. Private place. What's it? Communication station? Each trip the crew has a 20% chance of regaining 5 morale. Hmm. Well, I don't need all these radars. You can have those. I'll keep the one. Villages explore the crew gains five experience, is what that book is. What's the chance for a daze for this thing? What do I want from you? That Omega? I, you, you don't have any fuel. Why not? You have, well, you have helium, I guess. What does that mean? It's insulting him? This could be good. So I'll give you... I'm not sure if the Azurite is going to be uh, worthwhile. It doesn't seem to care about it. What about... You don't like any of this stuff, do you? Oh, yeah. We're kind of like... We're kind of at the bottom here. Let's... I'll give you some gold. I will give you uh, some copper. Give you old wolf here. That seems pretty good. This is all good stuff, and I think I want it. Can I put all these things in here? It takes just two things. This increases performance, which I do want. Plus one resistance, which would be good for shields. What else do you want? I don't care about the compass. You can have the, you can have the headlamp also. You can have that thing too. Plus chance of being affected by asphyxia. Uh, you can have my guide to the galaxy. And one... Ooh, half name is expensive stuff. Maybe it's just too expensive. Okay, how about that? 
Okay, friend. I'd love to take one of you with me. Uh, but, um, I'm kicking Sergei out. I'm happy with that. But Sergei's crying over there, and I can't say no to that, so... We'll just leave, I guess. One big lobster. Don't insult the main, uh, space guy. Uh, it cost me fuel to go to the save thing. I mean, I don't know. Let's see about making this stuff. So, shield generator would be cool to have. How stasis is the performance, which I do want that. For sure. Um, I'm going to convert this guy into a technology slot and then build a shield generator. More resistance. Okay, we'll make the ship fancy. Um, I can't convert these things, but I can convert these guys. I can make one more module slot for that last thing, whatever it was that we had. Communication system, I need cobalt for both those things. I have a sick bay already. No, no more copper. Okay. None of it matters, though, if I can't get more fuel. Or something that would give me more fuel. I already went to the cast giant. There's no point in going back there. Um, might as well save. Do crabs even need spaceships to travel space? Monkeys do. Okay. Let's go to the red dwarf. See now what it doesn't do me any good. Officer uh, Sergey detects a curious body in the system that, when investigated, turns out to be a large station built in the shadow of a massive asteroid. Isolated from the light of the nearest star, all life seems to have departed the structure. Steel resources. The symbol. Yeah, yeah. Take the fuel. I don't care if it hurts you. Sergey, quit crying. 30 fuel, that's good stuff. Uh, and we have a gas giant, we can get more fuel. Let's stop off, let's let's go in order here. We'll get, we'll get our gas tanks filled up, we'll get our hole fixed, and then we'll gas up. We'll get our oxygen, oxygen first. I'm gonna land here. Okay, I'm going to uh, uh, fill the tanks up. Should I even do I even bother drilling? Maybe we'll drill like I don't know if it's even worth it. Just give me give me a little bit of copper, which is okay. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. It takes me a ton of fuel to land this thing. Let's go to the rocky planet next. And scan. Good, good, good. We like those. This planet is actually worthwhile. There's a seam of resources here. We may bleed. We may we may die. That never stopped us before. I always hope it's the pancake planet. I had pancakes for dinner tonight. So we have pancakes on the mind. Let's drill first. See, that's not worth it. We just spent a lot of resources for a lot of nothing. Okay, let's explore this place. She has a compass. Anything better in here? No, no. I got rid of all my stuff. Oh. And you have the inverter, which is giving you more stuff. Um, resource vein. We are doing a lot of resource things. Let's get you some experience. Let's try that. See how that works. And then, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> On the party you go. Let's get out of here. Okay, we're not leaving without that Omega this time. No matter how much chat distracts me, I blame you. One scanner. Minerals, the proto god. So we need to have we need to make sure the engineers re, uh, time units stay. Action points is a word. Uh, stay for this mission. Um, 
yeah, we'll go say hello. When someone asks you if you're, asks if you're a god, you say yes. Indication, our expedition finally arrives after following readings that indicate the presence of an incredible amount of Omega. So substantial that our engineers thought it was an error. And yet there is a, a lake of Omega so large that it must be the residue of a judge slash architect. As we approach, the surface of the lake becomes comes to life, taking the form of a large black phoenix. Contain that creature. Nothing more than a living mineral possessing all the same weaknesses as Omega. Our engineer uses a piece of their gear to generate a powerful magnetic field which agitates and repels the beast. It leaves behind a few Omega feathers as it leaves. We collect. Ooh. Hallelujah. Okay. Morale goes up. Everyone's happy. Let's hop in here. We got hunting. On the expedition, the feelings of being observed grow incredibly strong. Some crew members try to shake off the sensation, believing it to be paranoia, while others are certain we're being followed by unknown pursuers. In an attempt to alleviate the feeling, we climb to the top of the hill, only to discover we are being circled by a group of large, eight-legged reptiles. Uh, we draw, they draw near, growling in such a way that makes clear their predatory intent. We can scare them away, we can fight back, we can run away. Well, we're fighting back. Our survivalists has bested creatures stronger and tougher than these. They square up to the challenge with a grin. Are these Gorn? It's a strenuous combat, but the survival of strategy and weaponry on our side, we are able to kill roughly half the lizards. The remaining predators hesitate, then fall upon their fallen companions, feeding on the corpses. We use the distraction to leave, taking new scars and another tale of victory with us. Alright. Alright. Praise on Tinti is right. That's right. Let's go uh, around this way. Oh no, I didn't mean to stop it. No, stop it, stop it, stop it. Oh, we didn't have Okay. Oh, we found a T set. Yeah, we lost a hit point. I guess that's what that was. Uh, let's go over here. Now, oh, see, that that one got us. I guess it's just sort of a random roll for it. Um, Let's not heal yet. We don't have anything for this, but we're going to take a look at it. Expedition seeks a specific sector guided by readings that indicate the high density of useful resources. We find traces of a shipwreck, but no actual remains. Some distance away, however, we find a grisly landmark, a cemetery. Wreckage must have been recovered by a rescue team who was bur has also buried the ship's 120 passengers. Graves have been adorned with precious objects. They're probably what see set off the sensors. What do we do? Well, <laughs> we gather them up. Desecrating burial site exact some moral costs, especially because those graves belong to the explorers like us who suffered a fate we all fear. We struggle to recover ourselves. When news of the action spread to the rest of the crew, it sets off an argument with such intensity that the captain is forced to intervene. She insists that survival comes with many costs, not all of them pal palatable. Secretly, we wonder how fervently she believes her own words. Ooh, by 30? Ooh, they're mad about that. They're real mad. Uh, oh, we're back. Let's take a peek over here. I don't... Uh, let me hit the box, uh, finder. Oh, we can't. So we scout? Yeah, we'll do it. Yeah, 25% chance that he got hit by that, and he did. Um, we're gonna have to call the ship over here now. Because he, if he gets hit again, he's dead. Oh, no, we don't. We could have walked around that way. I'm an idiot. We could have just walked around it. Well, Sergei was feeling adventurous. Okay, back to the ship we go. We didn't lose anything this time, right? Okay, objective complete. Sergei chewed up. Morale bad. Okay, I guess the T set must just be a trade good. I've been playing this a lot longer than I had planned on playing this, so um, we'll see if we can find ourselves a good stopping point here uh, soon, and then we'll see um, we'll see what we what we get to. Uh, we'll take something else after this, probably. However, I'm kind of uh, kind of in, into this, so we may, we may just do more of this. I don't have a I'm out of water. I can't hydrate. 
Sorry, space. Hey, cobalt. We need that. There is always an extreme. That's right. Praise on Tinti. Oh, I think we need two of these before we can make our cool stuff, though. Ooh, a lot of nothing in there. No, I guess it's coming in. It just only shows up whenever it's a new thing. Okay. A lot of good stuff, though. Um, yeah, that's good, good stuff. No fuel. We can throw an Omega in there. I think it, I think it fills us up, like, all, all the way. So, yeah, this Omega is, is, uh, kind of a lifesaver for us. Should have had one of those a long time ago. Uh, so to build... What was it? Those are both, yeah, we need two or three Cobalt for that. I think I'm gonna turn this into a module, or a, a technology slot. I think I'm gonna go ahead and do it. And we'll get that Ultra Probe one of these days. We don't have any more space for anything else, but we will eventually. We can always convert it if we need to. So, uh, alright. Let's get out of here. A little bit of fuel back. Uh, let's go... Oh, we could terraform this planet. I don't know why we would do that. Surely there's something cool about it. But I'm not entirely sure, because... Like, we could go... We could get... Uh, we could just throw this into our tank and give us free oxygen. I actually don't know what it, what it would do for us. Let's probe this planet. Come on. Give me some good stuff. See, that's all not good. So it cost us 8 to do that. And this is going to give us... i give it 30. We'll do one more. If I do something like that, is it even worth it? Not if we keep breaking stuff. Okay. So... Not exactly what we're looking for. I bet you. I bet you if. I bet you we get a lot of helium out of stars. So, platinum is our is our goal. Uh, did I save there already? Or is it, I saved it the last system, didn't I? The last system. Let's save the game. Move to the next one. We're going to go up to a red dwarf here. Jacken. A couple rocky planets. Stop by this guy. Uh, I'm not going to land unless we have something better. Like this. over here, isn't it? Yeah. There it is. Okay, so we have an Alpha 1, which has... We can learn an alien word, some blueprints, and Omega. Uh, there's some blueprints and Omega. Uh, I'd like to learn a, an alien word. We need to... Uh, yeah. Three, there's two... Let's... We may bleed, we may get fevers, we may get asphyxia. It happens all the time on this crew. So we're going to go land our bird of prey. In, uh, in kind of pancake world. Not quite, though. First we drill. So 18 there. Okay. We explore. You got your fancy compass. Okay, I like it. Um, you are added. Um, oh, it's. I thought it would have been longer than that. Oh, man. I thought we had more jumps than that. Never mind. We'll not explore this. It's a waste. We're good now, though. Wish we could go all the way out here. It costs seven to get there. It costs two to get, only get there.
So from here, let's look, let's look at this. 224, and to go here is 784. So morale is going to go. Oh, morale's bad. Should probably do something about that. What do we need for this? Silicon and four platinum. Morale is bad. Uh, it's going to keep getting bad. One of the members of the crew wants to build a robot that will help them with menial chores. To do this, they need to scavenge some parts from the crew's possessions. Uncertain about what to do, they should ask should they ask for permission or take the parts on the sly. I mean, let's be reasonable here. Crew members ask their companions to help, but no one seems inclined to lend their personal belongings. Seems the chores will have to be done like everyone else on the ship, by hand with much effort. Oh, you dang crew. Um, I don't want to... No, no, we're going to keep on going. Was it this one we were trying to go to? And now it's... No, no. Was it? Now it's 10? It can't be. Let's, let's jump. Red super giant. Let's go, let's go this one. Long trip. Okay, we got some things to get. Let's get our fuel first. Come on. Give me some helium. That's the good stuff. We'll do one. No, I don't want to do more. Have a save over there. Uh, we'll stop by here. We'll get a little mining going. Ooh. Where is it? Another wreck. We can do this one. Minerals, object, blueprints, or blueprints and objects. Let's do this one. We don't have a science guy. We have an engineer. We don't have a um, linguist guy or something. That's yeah, pancake land. Almost. Almost pancake land. Okay, let's drill. We're going to spend some of our precious stuff here for a whopping 10. Okay, this is a dangerous mission. Huh. Mm. After the episode completed, status and so look and move has been applied for crew for six rounds. So we can see and move faster after we do the objective. Want that, or do, we want, do we want the experience? I kind of want the experience for this guy. Huh. Yeah. Is it all going to hurt us? Yeah, there's a chance. Let's try to not step on it. Made it. Ooh, boxes. He's still hurt from the last mission. Uh, nothing over here. Other than boxes. Let's go look up this way. This is all may hurt us. Um, four rounds. Minus two for four rounds? Oh my. If I do this, does it stop your bad effects? I don't think so. Is 
This is a bad plan. Okay, so we're trying to go. See if I, I'm going to see if we can go around this way. Um. Oh. I want to make sure we save two points of red. Steel beams from uh, a gossamer structure adorned with clean vegeta vegetation that blows in the wind. It's not a terrestrial structure, but rather a ship that crashed here possibly eons ago. Lose the morale, gain an object. Uh, just gain morale by attempting repairs or avoid it. What's... Morale's bad. But I kind of want an object. Well, let's fix our morale, I guess. I guess. I guess. We gotta go around this way. Back over here again. We gotta walk through this, then. This is no good. After an arduous climb, our expedition makes it to the top of a mountain, upon which rests the wreckage of a ship we've been trying to locate ever since arriving on this planet. However, the mountain is actually a volcano, and the ship is sinking into magma. As it is sucked downwards, air escapes the pressurized cabin with a howl. This is a dangerous environment. If nothing else, we could salvage the debris around the crash sites. We can send the survival send to do it. We can send the engineer to reactivate the vessel. Oh, yeah. It all has, appeared, uh, it all has the appearance of a suicide mission, but our engineer insists on taking the risk. They climb across the ship and disappear inside. When the magma has completely closed over the vessel's hull, we think all the hope is lost. However, a roaring noise pulls us back to the edge of the basin, and the ship lifts up into the air, trailing lava from its fuselage. Engineer brings it to a rest brings it to rest at the foot of a mountain. We greet them with shouts of amazement, then board to see what marvels it contains. We found a planetary extension technology and T. Okay. So we're done, so we can leave, or we can keep exploring. And I think you know what we're going to do. Even though we don't feel so good, we feel good enough. Huh. Is that the ship in Doctor Who? Is the, ti the Titanic 2? Is that what it is? Or is it just the Titanic? Going boxes. So, let's see. Can I get to my ship within reason? Yeah, we can take. There's one one spot we might step on a thorn. Other than that, I think we're good. I think we've discovered everything. Right? I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Where are we at? Let's get out. Right. Uh, you have to get out of here. Can we get a level up? It's been a long time. He's close. He's got 12 more to go. He's actually leveling slower than she is. Maybe he has a cool thing. Planetary extension. I want to know what that does. Uh, drill attachment that, when drilling, extends probes sideways over a large area, significantly increasing the amounts of materials gathered. Well, we know what we're getting. In fact, let's drill again. That didn't do any good at all. That was terrible. <laughs> okay, we haven't been to the gas, right? I haven't, which one did I come from? I started the gas giant, didn't I? came in. I uh, run a little on fuel here. It makes my planet longer. Yeah, that's what it does. <laughs> uh, landing at oxygen, which we kind of need to do. I don't have any oxygen in the ship. Oh, I do have oxygen. I'll save it though. Um, oh, we can let's 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 do uh, this this guy while we're sitting here. Let's see if we can find, oh, I don't know, something worth, worth getting. Okay. 
not any of those. I don't know. What do you think? Do we uh, do we try out our? Oh, we're gonna have to. We need to get oxygen, and we'll try our drill out, which isn't the best on this kind of planet. But we can just do like a five depth of like that. We won't get carried away. Like that. <gasps> oxygen. We don't need oxygen now. We're on an oxygen planet. I'm gonna leave that one behind. Because I had space for it. Because I didn't have to. Okay, so let's go to... Do we want to save here? I guess so, because I don't want to lose. I'm going to have to go back to where I was before. So, we will save. And then we're 23 light years away still. I think we take the jump to the red supergiant. We chance it. We chance it. We know there's going to be good stuff here. We can feel it. There's good stuff here. <clears throat> okay. Let's gobble up that fuel. Maybe there's some platinum in this planet. Maybe quiet. Do it again. Actually, a loss two or one for that. I don't know. I always think uh, something tells me do it again. It never works out. Pop over here. Do you have a, a mission? Do I want to land? I'm gonna I'm gonna do it because I'm gonna land because I'm gonna use my drill. Which is going to get good stuff. Pancake land again. First drilling is going to be a good one. I'm going to go with like an 8. Uh, maybe a 7. I don't have a lot of fuel. That's not really the best. Okay. Can't do anything until we get that thing fixed. So we're going to go... It's right there. We could, like... What's the jump there? What's the jump to get there? It's only eight to get there. Let's go travel here. We can get to our destination, at least. We're getting there. We're within range of it. Since there's a, that's a, uh, since there's detect a high-frequency signal from beyond the large moon orbits the very edge of the system, very unusual, we saw, find ourselves wondering if we can decrypt it. We don't want to lose fuel, but we can lose an object and gain minerals. Lose fuel, and it'll send us away. Um, okay. Broke my ancient compass. Ay, 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 ay. Can I get there? Oh, it's just outside. 70 at that black hole. 60 at the white dwarf. Let's go to the white dwarf. Standard... Come across a standard, rather ordinary uh, relay station. Orbit is unusually wide. We don't take much notice until we, the crew discovers that it doesn't respond to our signals. It's empty. We can get some morale if we lose an object. We can get a long trip and lose some oxygen. Where where we want to be, though. Um, yeah, I'll do that. We lost my radar. We gained some morale, though, and people are a little happier. And there's a gas giant here. So come on. We need a good gas. Good, good gas giant. Please. Uh, I can only probe up to eight. So we will do that. And gain 32 fuel. I'm tempted to do it again, but I don't think it's a good idea. I think I think every time we do it, that was a good amount of fuel, though. Is it, is it worth it? Let's try like a little, a little two. Okay, we got two. Which gives us four. So we doubled. We doubled it. Let's try it again. We got one. So that basically got back what we what we put into it. Okay. Um, I think oxygen fine. We could stop and try to get. We are good on that. I need platinum. We could go save. Let's save the game and then go to the big mission. And we'll have a little chat with our characters. Would love 
to get myself a bigger ship that can hold more crew. Let's go to Atlas. Ooh, what have we found here? We'll peek around the, uh, the system first. Scan. What we got? A wreck, some blueprints, and an object. Yeah. I'm always up for that. Pretty, pretty. Um, I can't, I can't resist the urge to drill. Okay, let's go find something. Uh, you got a compass, right? Still got one? What do you, uh, have anything cool? You're doing this thing which gives you experience. Resource vein is, is revealed. You gain seven experience points, but you haven't done that, really. You can walk faster. I think we'll take this thing that gives us more resources. Because we're trying to get copper, and that's where we're going to find it. That way. Those look like my bird ship's natural habitat. <laughs> yeah, it does. Uh, nothing over here. I think that actually goes through there. Pick up some plants. We love plants. So let's do with them. We have found a village. Max is having problems. Max is gonna die. <clears throat> uh, oh, hey, hello, hello. Um, Ungzol. Response causes the alien to wilt into a weary kind of resignation. It signals the shopkeepers near us. Before our very eyes, the stall's empty and there's almost no one left to trade with. Come on now. We liked it. Help shield generator. Help resistance. Uh, help comfort. Help my reactor. Why don't you have platinum? You do have platinum. I will give you. What do you want? You want some amber? Would you like some tea? When the wearer heals one or more other crew members, they heal a hit point. So the tea's pretty cool, pretty nice. But I don't have a crewman that can use it. In return, I'm going to give you some plants, and I'm going to give you a little bit of silicon because I got a bunch. Is there anything else that I want from you? Performance is good because performance is going to give us more fuel proficient fuel fuel efficiency. And that's really what we need. We have that and that. I don't want that. Big trade. Gravitational sales technology blueprint has been added to the database. Oh, yeah? Okay. Recruit these weirdos, but we cannot. So we leave. The silicon's probably the merchant's babies. <laughs> All right. I'm going to disuse mine. Uh, large artificial tunnel with precise right-angled turns. Finally, we come across a large drilling machine. Harvest some nearby vines, uh, veins. We can fix the transport pulley for morale. I want minerals. That's what I'm here for. I'm not here to make you guys happy. Boxes. I see boxes. Let's go look over here. There's the thing we want to find. 
Big, big planet. Expedition arrives to find good news. The wrecked ship in excellent condition. There's almost certainly something worth recovering at this location. However, it's also bad news. Wreck is balanced on the edge of a very large abyss. No, it's not. If the weight of the wreck shifts even by a meter, it will surely tumble over the cliff. Fortunately, there's no wind here, but how can we make the most of this finds? Well, just make yourself an artificial gravity field, of course. The ever-ingenious engineer. Oh, Sergei. Constructs a machine that pins the ship in place with artificial gra gravity. Thanks to them, the possible to retrieve the cargo and find ourselves a relaxation pod. And we found one adornment of the abyssal. All right. All right. Let's go over here. These these green plants are my 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 recording software does not seem to like these green planets. I notice. Is it looking okay on the stream? Looking smooth? It looks choppy to me. Everything else seems to be okay, but these are uh, a little a uh, little, little choppy. Uh, oh, we go down here. This is a big planet. If I want to mess with anything, let's see if there's anything else worth messing with here. Uh, this will probably do something for us. I moved down to normal. I didn't move it down to normal, did I? Hmm. I'll take a chance for a bleed. Oh, it's back here. Uh, whale, did I get everything? Boxes. I think it's the boxes. Okay, we might we might bleed, but there's boxes there, and we know what that means. I don't care about your bleeding. A handbook of cave paintings. <laughs> okay. That's what I was looking for. That's why the whole reason I was on this planet. Did I see everything? I think so. Okay, let's get out of here. I can call my ship, but that costs fuel, so I ain't gonna do that. So we're gonna get out. Um, we're gonna step by those weird squid things, too. Let's get out of here. Oh, hot dog. All right. Maybe we can get your eye fixed now. I would like to level up your... We can get your healing skill leveled up. Leveled up your your um, herbal tea skill, which I don't use. Or we can just make you cooler with this. More action points. What are you doing? Um... I guess the health. Yeah. Sagrae's always getting chewed on. So make you a better engineer and... Uh, I don't care about that one. Mm. Reveals two chests closest to the expedition team. I took out everything anyway, so we'll just do this one. Cost less, I guess. Okay. That was a good, good mission. Very good mission. Okay, well, find it. Put the H in there. And... Um, I guess I'm going to throw the oxygen away. Take the platinum. I need one more platinum. Find all that stuff. Can I do this other stuff while, while this happens? No. More, um, more gold out there. Which is good, good trade good. People seem to like that stuff. Uh, 
thought I picked up a second one of these. Didn't I get a second one? Didn't I trade and get a second one? Didn't I? Didn't I? Fishing pod, 10 of that. Um, I don't... I'm going to convert it. I don't care about your morale. I care about these sales. Plus two performance. I care about both of these. Morale's not going to be good, but it's, it, it's fine. Have a good one, Skull. Thanks again. Uh, yeah, that's that's what this will do. The sales are going to be plus two performance. Performance is all about fuel efficiency. So, four more thorium, and we can do that. Didn't I? Didn't I pick up? Am I? Am I? Am I losing my mind? I thought I traded for a trade for one of those. All right. Uh, we can go over there. Let's just go to the atlas. This is kind of freaky. See that, Nix? What splendor! The ancients predicted the existence of Dyson Spheres, but even the most advanced civilizations have been able to complete one. It's Captain Nix, officer. So this was the Atlas. Oh, Captain Nix, officer. Yeah, you tell him. Uh, wonders of these are why I'll never stop roaming the galaxy. I've never seen anything so elaborate. The structure surrounds an entire star, capturing all of its energy. What an amazing feat! They better look at it. Move closer. They might find Scotty in there if they get lucky. Incredible. The inside is lined with perfectly aligned floral gardens. Not just any gardens. These are ones are 500 million times larger than the surface of any planet. But why a garden? The atlas is supposed to be a database. I don't see anywhere a data could be stored. I think I have a guess. Please share it, Officer Sergey. Information can be encoded in anything. DNA, colors, even the scent of a flower. The garden is indeed an atlas, then perhaps the data is inside the flowers. If they die or and are reborn of transmitting information as smells. In the scent, smells are something else. That's right, Officer. A few years ago, I stopped on a garden planet. Communication with the inhabitants was impossible, as they had never, neither eyes nor vocal organs. Eventually, our many scans provided a solution. We discovered they communicated by emitting and receiving scents. You think, think they could decipher the sense of the atlas? They had no books or engravings. They had gardens. Never heard of such a people. Do you think we could locate a member of that race? They call themselves foragers. They're very discreet, traveling all over the galaxy in search of new smells. I couldn't tell you any more, though. Speaking of which, Captain, I wanted to talk to you about our crew, seeing as there isn't one. I fear we won't be able to capture the Archon on our own. We should gather recruits, fill our crew, and we still need a forager in order to make sense of the atlas. Perhaps we could kill two birds with one stone. Hey, don't talk about my ship like that. Increasing our crew would allow us to be more efficient while ex uh, ex expedition on expedition during travel. You have a point, Sergey. Easy there. Don't act so surprised, Cap <laughs> Captain. If we can make another observation, we should prepare a place and welcome our new recruits. Woo! Basic bunk module has been added. Okay. Right, we carry two. I know, I know. We can make... Uh, what do you want it to be? You want it to be a module? But I just changed that. For a bunk. Alright, fine. I'm not happy about this, though. Okay, so now I can have four crewmen. Okay. Well, it's not going to get as much... Do much well, much for us, because we, um... That. So we got to go find ourselves a forager, which are where? Um, primitive villages and garden planets are rare, preserved planets. Just find one, it says. All right. Uh, well, let's go here because it's close. So you want a space dad joke, huh? Or maybe just a, da a dad joke. So speaking of travel, uh, this is my segue: traveling through space, traveling on airplanes. Uh, so if, if they, it's a question that has been been racking my brain around for 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 eons. Okay, I'm trying to get that space theme. Uh, if they serve you snacks while your plane is still ascending, in a plane, just getting your snacks, plane's going up. Uh, are you getting fed up with airline food? I'm sorry, that one, 
that one that one was a little much. I'm trying to, to lighten the mood about that I'm about to die here. The edge of the system we locate strange metallic construction. Captain Nix identifies the structure. It is a reins of a god cube. Perhaps left over from a war. A few electrical flashes from within make us fear it may still be alive. Get them parts. Ooh, I got double oofs. <laughs> By manipulating the trajectories of two asteroids, we shatter the structure into small pieces and recover some useful materials. Captain Nix, visibly troubled by his encounter, is unusually quiet for the next few days. We got some of these things. I don't have room for them. That was in there. My fuel is bad. Real bad. Real bad. Okay, I get, I get, I get it. Um. Please be a, um, there's a ship. Maybe the ship has fuel. We have to hope. We're fed up with these jokes. <laughs> oh, it's one of you again. All right, I'll view you. What you got? Where's the fuel at? I'm going to, I'm just going to take everything apart. What was that? Angus. Uh, Gavin. Thank you for the gift, sir. Give me all this stuff. I'll put that in the hole. Uh, hafnium and thorium. I need the thorium. Um, I think I'm tempted to like get rid of the um, the med bay and turn it into something else so I can get that other thing. We need the thorium. I need the cobalt too, though. I'll leave the plants behind. I don't know what to do with those. I got no space for anything. Man, I'm gonna have to use. Hmm. Oh, I can use my, use my drill. My reactor, I mean. Nope, that one. What kind of stuff can you use for fuel? Just helium and hydrogen. Iron I can't take. I am going to... Yeah, that's yeah, fine. I'm burning this tree down. Doesn't do me any good. It gives me four platinum. Gives me an open space. I can put the sails in. Oh, I'm, I'm short two thorium. I could put the probe in, though. Oh, we have to do this. Because I think... I've played space games before. I'm... I'm a-guessing. I'm guessing that this is going to allow us to go to the star. And feed off the star. I say space games. I've watched TV shows. This has got to be... it got to be helium land right here. That's more like it. Yeah, we don't we don't need it. Toss it in there. There you go. Do it again and then probe it again. Okay. Nick really needs an assistant to check on his fuel levels. Going on a road trip with him must be a harrowing experience. <laughs> hey, you know what? It's not like if if there was like a you know a, um, a flying J every once in a while, I'd be fine, but there isn't. Okay, one more. Little one. That's good, because helium, one helium is four of those. One more time. Oh, okay. Okay, so now I think our fuel days, our fuel, bad fuel times are, are over. Let's go to this garden planet. And just enjoy ourselves. Gavin Hawk, thank you very much. Thank you, Gavin. Um, no, I'm not going to land here. This place is a dump. Change my mind. Black hole. Let's go there. I do have an Omega. We could go fly through the black hole if we want. I'm not sure why we would do that. Let's go past a strange asteroid of sculpted rock. A member of the crew explains that this is a sacred stone re revered by the system's residents. Uh, it's obviously fallen out of orbit, so we put it back in its place? No. What do I care? Captain has no interest in local superstitions. We leave the rock to its fate. Oh, we got sad about that? That's all that's here is a black hole. 
Go here. Asteroids on trajectory that will bring it directly into the heart of a star. We hope it to be far away when the collision occurs. One member of the crew suggests breaking up the rock before impact. Interesting idea that would not without the risks. Do I care? Fine. Fine. Team sent to break up the rock using explosives. The one member of the crew is injured during the expedition. Discoveries made the rock was harboring an abandoned ship. Ooh. I knew it was a good idea. <laughs> Oh, you're a little guy. You're not so little. What's that? Gravitational well generator. Increases the range. Oh, that's kind of fancy. You're tiny, though, and you're, you're kind of tiny and terrible. So I'm going to take all you've got. If I can. Fill the old tanks up. I will take your things apart. Take all your stuff. we got more platinum there. Uh, more iron. Uh, I'm going to take the Platinum and leave the Hafnium. Platinum's good stuff. It's coming pretty handy. Okay, we got another rich... Oh, we got both of them. I wonder if it's even... Is it even a good idea to go to the Gas Giants now? Because we can just stop by the star. I think the star hurts our... Um, One more time. I think the star hurts our, our hull a little bit, but I don't have any problems with, with getting iron anymore. I will here in a minute, but for now I don't. So it takes... You see what it does what it does to my hull going here. But if we could, have, we could get like a nice supply of helium behind... Uh, stocked up. Um, I think that would be, would be a good idea. Uh, we're going all the way. There's 12 right there. I wonder if I actually have leftovers. What do I leave? I don't want to leave the cobalt. I don't want to leave anything. I got 7 gold. I can't drop all those. That's good trade stuff. Um, let's, let's leave the cobalt, I guess. I don't want to get... I'm going to one more time. I didn't mean to go that far. Oops. Fine, we got it back. Okay. So. Let's go. Um, I need the carbon for something. I don't know what it was. Something needs carbon, though. We got to find a forager. Yeah, we finally found that flying J. It's always a love when you need them. I have two stacks of carbon, do I? Carbon? Oh, I do. Yeah, I did see that. Choices. We get a village, we have a vegetation, and we have a omega thing of minerals. I'm going to go to the village because I want to see if we can get ourselves a new crew member. That is the, uh, that's the goal here. We need a good science guy. We're here, you know. Okay, I don't need I don't need all that. What if I should jump the dump the carbon? We have a little oxygen in the tank. In the hold. Okay, let's explore. Let's go find this village. Oh. Oh. That's good. Uh -huh. Oh. We 
Is the village right here? Oh, that was easy. Okay, he says a bunch of things to me. Uh, another crab man. I think we said that last time and he didn't like us. Let's say this one. A deep roar from the alien makes us take a few steps back. It turns back on us and refuses to address us again. The other inhabitants quickly follow suit. Oh, come on now! I just wanted to... <laughs> I just wanted to... To bring one of you in. Anyway. Hmm. Multiplies device range and by... Detecting any invisible intermediate masses. Oh, maybe we can tell about the planets that are there? Hmm. Another dormitory. Plus three more crew capacity. Divinity module. Makes transportation of divine beings possible aboard ships. Or luxury room. Uh, no thanks. No thanks. I don't want your tweezers either. I just want your people. I had to say the wrong thing. Might be another village around here, I guess. Yeah, they don't. They don't. Well, not that mad. I'll still take my money. Lockpick kit. That'll come in handy. Ooh, a monolith. Our expedition encounters an empty plain with a beautiful, immaculately clean temple in the center. As we draw near, we see many silent creatures tending to the grounds and gardens. Inside the structure, there is only there is a lone gray monolith which begins speaking to us in strange language. As we make more and more replies to it, the object appears to learn our language. It declares itself a mighty god. And if we do not make an offering, it threatens to kill us with its servants. Not the warmest welcome, but what's worth considering. Analyze, analyze, offering. Well, let's analyze. Um, monolith dem protest and demands to know what we are doing. The engineer performs a scan of the object. Readings report the monolith is actually a computer. Dictates the lives of everyone in it at this place. Running off energy cold from the decomposing decomposing bodies offered as sacrifice. It commands that servants to attack, but our engineer thinks quickly and scrambles the signals it emits. Once freed of the monolith's influence, the silent creatures flee in all directions beneath the plinth upon which the statue rests. We discover enough resources to turn this near nightmare to a profitable adventure. Ooh, the divinity module. All right. Too bad. I, 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 I really want to bring another crewman in. That's all I really want. There's anything over here. We'll take a peek. Oop. I died so many times playing this the the demo, the early uh, earlier versions of this before the release now, and I died so many times. Because used to you had a limit. You had so much oxygen you could use walking around the planet. And if you used up all your oxygen, you, you know, you died. Um, I always went too far. Died. I died way too many times. So I'm, I'm thankful that that mechanic is gone. Alright. What do we find? Plants? We find a lot of nothing. I don't have room for anything. Uh, I can't. I can't spare my hydrogen. I don't know if I should spare my oxygen or. Um. Do I want. Is it worth a four? I don't care. It's just a four. Just four. Can't decide until we leave. I really need to wrap it up here. I'm going to go out on a high note, though. Let's go find ourselves a high note. We've got a rocky planet over here.
Anything exciting here? Nope. Okay. Let's try to find, like, yellow stars. Oops. I didn't mean to go there. Uh, yellow stars, maybe they're more likely to have uh, green planets, habitable planets. Risky orbit there, so it's kind of damaging. Is it always that bad? Fine. Oh, I even have leftover leftovers. I can't remember I'm leaving that behind. How, how the times have changed. Okay, that's a like gas, right? Yeah. Let's go to this yellow guy. Uh, UFO. Catch it. We found a suit. Nothing there. I think we want to run. Where's the place we're trying to get to? We, oh, we're kind of leaving it. Uh, let's head up to this guy. I need like a hint where to go for these guys. Ah, here we go. Civilized planet. Excellent. That's what we're looking for. It's land. Morale goes up. Everyone loves it here. Okay, let's explore the city. Large expo is taking place in the city. When approaching the stands, we realize it's a convention about spaceships. Our engineer is overjoyed and, takes, and decides to take part in rocket construction competition. They win first prize. Turns out to be the blueprints for a piece of technology. Hey, gravitational lens, whatever it does. I will recruit someone. We have... Oh, you're a forager, are ya? Well, we know we want you. You're hired. Hello, come aboard, forager. I mean, you can call him, like, his by his name. <laughs> are you familiar with space travel? <laughs> no, but I enjoy a new experience. Is it fertile ground? We need your help. Have you heard of the Atlas? Name is not familiar. It's a world completely covered in flowers. We believe it stores information, but we do not know how to decrypt it. With this, I can help you. How awful it must be, so having such tiny uh, atrophied atrophied nostrils. Uh, tragic, excuse my curiosity. Would you mind telling us about your people? Never met a forager before. A few in number, and though we seek about new experiences, we have never been known well in the galaxy. Why not? Before we discovered life under the worlds, we spoke only through the myriad scents that surround us. When the resources of our planet dwindled, some of us learned new ways of communicating in order to exchange and communicate with alien cultures. They began travel. Our leaders never accepted this change, though our world is slowly dying. There remain some of us who will live, learn, and grow on behalf of all those refuse. Who of all on behalf of all those who refuse. We are considered rebels. Fascinating. We ingest sense. Discover the origins, feel them, emotions, identity, and who and what generate them. We are unparalleled. What do you think? Uh, impressive. We are uniquely, uniquely qualified to help us on the Atlas. Okay. I'll do my best, he says. Let's share some knowledge with you. I can help you build a botanical complex on your ship. Alright. Do I have to? I don't have to. If I have to. What am I going to get rid of? Give me this wormhole nonsense. I don't need this. Plants can be analyzed to discover new flower types before being stored. Okay, we need it. Okay. Got it. Hey, we found some plants. Oh, that's what that goes, goes in there. Okay. Let's look at those plants. Can I just max? 
Okay, flower will produce an effect until it withers. Plus three morale for any free engineer with four interstellar voyages. Neat. We can also recycle it for uh, for oxygen. Okay, I'm with this guy too. Yeah. You in there too? This guy's a favorable, favorable wind. My nickname in high school. Sorry. <laughs> I couldn't resist. All right, it's late. I need to go to bed, and I'm <laughs> starting to lose it. Hey, you want some carbon? Have I got some carbon for you, buddy? And uh, would you also like uh, a little gold? My shift click. Take my gold. Um, take my onyx and my amber. And I want your omega. And I also want your helium. That's a good one. I'm not going to care about anything. Um, max hit points are increased by four. When a point of interest revealed reveals a f object, the object of four, four turns. Maybe I shouldn't give you all that gold. Maybe I shouldn't give you all that stuff. I want some more flowers. Don't want those. Uh, blueprints. That's what I want. Blueprints. Okay. Let's get out of here. Now. Uh, looking good, right? We're looking great. We finally have a reason for plants. Uh, let's go. Let's get back there. Just out of reach. So let's go to that one. And then directly to the flower land. This is, this is, uh, we're looking for a high note to go out on tonight. We found it. We found it. Send in a little critter to go smell around. Whatever his name is. I need you to gather as much info as you can about the Archon. No need to explain. The sense tell me everything, including what you want to know. Flowers will guide me to your answers. They contain all the knowledge of the universe. Here, your answers are here. This, that is what they say. And here, there is the Archon. And there, there are you. Forger, Captain Nix, what's happening? They're convulsing. Don't interfere. This, we need this information. The Forger is clearly in distress, Captain. They've stopped breathing. Scent of blood. Those who believe are deceived. The end is coming. What does that mean? Where can we find the Archon? Answer me. They're having seizures. They need to get back to the ship. Or death without end. Oh, he's losing it. They fainted, Captain. We need to get them out of here right now. Agreed. Stay with us, Forager. Well, that didn't give me anything. Captain, they're waking up. Tell me what you saw, Forager. Uh, I know the location of the Archon's headquarters. You do? Where is it? Atlas gave me a set of coordinates. They lead to a system hidden deep with the nebula. Within the nebula. That's not my concern. We have no time to waste thinking about the hidden systems. Or I don't know why, but it also gave me a partial coordinates regarding the location of a beacon. A beacon? But why? Just a cloud of gas and dust. True. I couldn't process all the information given to me by the Atlas. I don't understand why it's trying to lead you there. Strange. Traveling into the nebula can be very dangerous. Why should we take such a risk? It's all very intriguing. Atlas never acts without a reason. It said you would need help. Okay, they fainted again. We should give them more time to recover. Let them rest. That's all the information I need. Okay, so we are going there. But we're going there. Alright. Ooh, we got a new suit. Ooh. So she has a new skill. Switch. Reveals two points of interest. Ah, nice. So she has her military suit and she has her um, fancy suit. Yeah. yeah. Whoa, freaky. And then this guy. Is. Oh, he like floats around, does he? I remember him from before. Excellent. Uh, he doesn't have an assignment, so we should give him uh, an assignment. Drill and refining. We need someone to 
Uh, what should you work? You probably could work... Reduces damage to the hole. We probably should put him on... Finding resources when probing. We'll put you on the probe, buddy. And then this guy needs to be on... Increases the range. Increases probability of finding resources. We already have a driller. We have a refiner. Um... Yeah, the reactor man. Less fuel consumed. Okay. There we go. This is a good place to call it a day. It was um, about a high note, as high note as you can get to. I think I got two of those things now hanging around. Um, I destroyed my my wormhole thing, so we can't really use it. But yeah, we got we got the flower thing we can do. Nice. perfect place to call it a day uh this is out there oceans of time i hope the devs uh, are okay with me uh going a little over this is supposed to be like an hour or so so i hope they're okay with it going over by a lot because <laughs> i got a little 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 uh into it but uh there we go there is uh it, it's out today on the 26th of may here at some time um been in developed for a long time and we finally have it by me Klaus, and the water wolf thanks again for, for sponsoring this uh, anything we can look at in here that's uh, faint? Look at that. That's fancy. Anything we didn't see here? That's the bird ship. Very cool. And I guess we can eventually we can learn new words and turn and talk to these guys at some point. There's the crab crab folk. Interesting. All right. So there we go. We're gonna call it today. Thanks again for hanging out in the stream tonight. And um, that was Oceans of Time. Out there, Oceans of Time.